If you spell applesauce with just A's, you can call it. Ah! Dude, what are you doing? If you spell applesauce, uh -oh. oh no, it's doing the thing again. You can oh no, it... oh goodness me! <laughs> oh dear. If you spell applesauce <laughs> with just A's, you can call it. <laughs> so much for a smooth, non-technical. If you spell applesauce with just A's, you can call it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? If you <laughs> spell a bit of a sauce because... <laughs> with just A's, you can call it. <laughs> I'm like, thank you so much, Scoot. That is very, very kind of you. Thank you for the five gifted subs. And hello to Drage. Dra drag dog, Drage dog. I hope I said that right. I'm so sorry. Thanks, hello, hello, Sir Q. That Nero. And it's, it's only half nine in the morning, which is a really good time for me. That's fine. That's not that early. I was I was going to try and come on earlier. The so half nine is a pretty good time. Horror Oh, drink And Sir Q, you're a bean biscuit. Deal with it. Scoot, thank you so much and welcome in Raiders. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, hello, travel makers. How are you doing? Welcome in Drex and Raiders. How are you? I hope you're doing well. What are you up to, my lovely? How did your stream go? I hope it, it went well. Welcome in. I have, uh, I've been up since about seven. I'm quite proud of myself. I've been up since seven. I've had, I've had, I've had a yogurt. I've, I've had a cup of coffee. Well, I'm still sipping my coffee. Look at us, ready and raring to go at half nine in the morning. Finished up some more Power World. Ooh. What, what ridiculous level are you now? I would imagine. <laughs> I'm being nice by that, I mean. Wow. 30 oh, I'm an egg. Fantastic. I'm 32, 33. Bloody hellfire. How do you get the levels? I can barely make it past mine. In the early 40s? I got my yolka jiggling. What on earth? Wow. <laughs> That's a good sign you're enjoying it, though. You seem like you're on the sunny side today. I'm definitely feeling a lot better today, that's for sure. Rosapo, how are you doing? Rex, I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's nice to see so many people enjoying a game again. Like, as a community. Like, people coming in being like, yes, I'm enjoying this game. I have my minigun wielding Totoro. <gasps> it's half past nine. Why are you streaming so early? Well, I used to stream much earlier in the morning than this, Phoenix. This is like a relatively good time. This is the time I'm going to try and stick to, hopefully. Uh, hopefully. But it's 4.30 for me and I need to sleep so I can do something for Of course, Drex, please get some good rest. Thank you so much for the rage. You look after yourself. Get some good sleepy eat. Dream of all the wonderful pals so that you can, I don't know, plow, plow, plow the, plow the uh, pals of your guns. <laughs> that sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. what I mean. It's fine. 6.33 a.m. Oh, good. Well, I hope you're getting enough rest, looking after yourself. Mini gun go. Brrr. Brrr. <laughs> or is it more... Brrr. I can't do that. 
Does anyone else hate that sensation? Or like, if you blow a raspberry with your mouth, like a. I hate it. I hate. I hate it. It just. It just feels wrong. Like, why are my lips tingly? They shouldn't. No, I don't like it. <laughs> but today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everything in between, gremlins and ghouls, goblins and others, we are playing. I think you've probably watched by now, but I know nothing about Home Safety Hotline. I know nothing about it. I I'm getting there, Soki. I'm getting there. I'm doing an intro so people know we're going. I know nothing about this game, apart from the fact it's analog horror, and it sounds pretty cool. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at with it. And now I've told people what we're doing. It turns out somebody wants some motivation. <laughs> sir, my wonderful Sir Q, your motivation is one of the following. Discuss your ambitions, which isn't a bad one. That's a nice one. That's, that's a nice polite one. Or, the Scandinavian model loves to let people down. Yep, uh, third time's a charm. Your doctor can be mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Your doctor can be a mind blowing. He literally can be. Oh, well, there you are then. You know, it's a wonder that me and probably most of the other people here are awake and here. Well, they get some EP rest. I'd rather you look after yourself than watch a stupid moth. So can you- oh no- oh Vox! No! We're redoing it! Ah! What is that picture? No! Don't be a slave to everybody else's surgery. Climb the social ladder through intimidating. We are not being blessed today. Come on, we need a good one. The genius with the justice- no, that's boring. Come on, we need a good one. There we go! Soft skin! Is diet. <laughs> yeah? Soft skin is diet. I took the test to see which house I was in, and it was as. <laughs> Just to let you all know, I am a Ravenclaw. I've taken the test many a time. I am a Ravenclaw. Happily so. Oh lord. Update. Mothy, can I call you Mothy, right? A witless has come forward to inform us that the moth is now online. I am. Bring me another taco. Hi, Mothy. Well, hello. <laughs> well, that was nice and polite. A nice witness. I eat soft skin, hard and old. No matter what it is, the skin will peel and fold. All from my taste buds, the little skin will go. And down the gullet, to and through. You're welcome. Maybe I'll do like another. Maybe that's something we could do in a future stream. We can all see like my um. We could just do a bunch of like crappy personality tests <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> or I could do the Hogwarts test live. But as far as I'm aware, I'm Ravenclaw. Every time I've done it, I've got a Ravenclaw. Clo close to Slytherin, but not quite, because I'm about them brains. Isn't it? I'm about brainy, innit? I read books. <laughs> Ravenclaw gang? Hell yeah! When I went to the Harry Potter studio tour, because obviously I did, because I'm in England, so it's, 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 it's like a rite of passage, you have to. <laughs> I bought myself a Ravenclaw scarf. Very cosy. I did want to buy myself a robe, but yeah, no, those funds do not exist. I had a four hour nap, it's now 10.36 and the sun is shining and it's too warm to sleep again. Oh, that sounds delightful though. Phoenix, I'm jealous. To have a nap and then wake up in warm sunshine. Oh, that'd be so good. All we've got here is grey, grey and more grey. I am the chaos. The wizarding government stays covered. The necromancer of chaos. We are only grown. Do you want to participate? No need to run. When you'll die, you'll join us anyway. <laughs> Oh, 
I would definitely dabble in some dark arts. Let's, let's put it that way. How could you not? Like, it's all just so fascinating. And being not allowed to do it makes you want to learn about it even more, surely. Walkers. Yeah, they've got their morning zoomies. They're also grumpy because I didn't put, it, put down the right food. They're like, oh, how dare you? My precious palette. You sip. I know, god forbid, god forbid. You should have seen the cat's faces as well, that I dare put down the same food for them that I put down every Oof, disgusting. I'm the dark heart, evil wizards have standards. Standards? Yeah, standards. Standards. Model of which to reach, I know of. He doesn't want to be necro dance. <laughs> Think about it though, hang on. If you're telling me I can be a dancer class, just think of a bard necromancer for a second. I want to be a bard necromancer. I want to do like ballet, <laughs> ballet pirouettes as I summon the undead. <laughs> I want to unleash a chaos of plague as I tear into my harp. <laughs> That'd be so good though. Why is YouTube chat not working again? YouTube chat, stop being stinky. What is the point of me configuring you if you don't want to behave? It was working earlier because I saw Scoot on it. I might just have to actually get my own bloody video up. There we go, okay. Yes, yes, I'll respect my own community guidelines. <laughs> I'm a necromancer, my dog has died, you want me to just move on? No, 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 no. The dog is coming with. <laughs> what about necromancer and everybody's dancing? <laughs> I love that! Oh, that's so good. Use a drum to match the rhythm of the undead to control- <gasps> That's such a good idea! Oh, that's so fun! Oh, I love that. Oh, look, come on, we've just made a brilliant class. How more, more how, how's the week been? It's been okay. Not the best, I'll be honest. I've been feeling super down and exhausted, both mentally and physically. And it's okay to admit, it's okay to admit you don't feel good. And I've not been feeling good. But I'm feeling a lot better today. Luckily, I've, I've got that sudden kick that you get, you know. <laughs> We've been rotting in bed all week doing nothing. And then all of a sudden you get up and you're like, oh, oh, I can, uh, I can, uh, I can get dressed today. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I hope you've all had a wonderful week. And I hope you have an even better weekend. Necromancer of the future playing Brazilian electro funk with skeletons. Yes! <gasps> oh, that's so good. Or, 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 or like an, or a Mexican necro dancer. That way, where they're doing like the Day of the Dead. Oh, that'd be so cool. Rest or rotting? Well, I call it rotting because that's what it feels like. I'm just lying in bed like. Like, in complete pain, unable to move, unable to think, doing nothing but sleeping. It's horrible. I hate it when that happens. But it happens! And it's okay to admit. We all have days like that. You just gotta wait for it to pass. Everyone always has good days and bad days. It's okay not to be healed instantly, etc. You know? I'm just saying. That's as she takes copious sips of caffeine. <laughs> Dip. Mexican citizens dancing with the skeletons, thinking it's yes. <laughs> Sitting all over, that's so good. <laughs> that's okay, Lampy. I appreciate both. 
Feels the best nap I ever had after getting to sleep all night. And I hope you get a better weekend. Oh, thank you very much. And I'm glad you had a new good nap. There's nothing better than a good nap. Especially you said just waking up and sleep. Oh, I love it if you have a nap outside. If you're able to. You just wake up and there's like a bird. And then just the sunshine. And then that annoying fly that won't get out of your face. <laughs> there is one bugger, isn't there? There is one bloody fly that just won't leave you alone. Speaking of not leave you alone, I have been hired to apparently help people with their home issues. Completely normal and nothing out of the ordinary home issues. And today is my first shift on the job and probably my last one, knowing anything about me. <laughs> so. Ta -da 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 -da. Without further ado, and please let me know how the audio is, etc. You're the ones that suffer, not I. Go over, shall we? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Ta-da! Get out of here, Fuji. No one's talking to you. I'm all on my lonesome today with Chad. Just me and Chad getting cosy by the tell. The three people are helping the elf to avenge his brother's death. They say the dwarf, you have my axe. The archer, you have my bow. And the necromancer, and your brother. That is a mood, right? Oh, I love that. <laughs> and jump. <laughs> just like his arm hanging off. <laughs> he just gets like a solid thumbs up. <laughs> Absolutely happy. Right, if Chad gets in the way of the text and stuff, I've seen a little bit of how the game is laid out. Um, and obviously made, I made sure it ran fine and all of that. Might have to hide you lovelies, but we should be okay. Hello, yes, 9 moth I want my doctor. Well, we've got a doctor! He's only good if you're dead, though. Are you dead? Excuse me! I doubt your book! I'm at work. Logging in, who's a guest that I can't work in these conditions. What are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm on the clock, dogs. Naughty and Pixie. I will take away your fruit strings. Do you know why the necromancer has strong legs? Because Ruiz has to run after his own dog who's hunting for his own bones. Oh, that's really cute. It's like Zero chasing his little bone. Zero. Right, I guess we're straight into it. This, is this the menu screen? Oh, this is the menu. Oh, this is cute. The Discord, delete, save, credits. Oh, you want... Pretty scoot. Man. <laughs> oh, never catch me. I don't know. What have you? How how does one skeletal? <laughs> Man. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Hang on, I need a reference. I can't go I can't go in blind. I know how skeletal sounds, but I, I need I need the Your Majesty. The loyal subjects of East Fen wish you to have this humble gift made by the finest craftsman in our land. Way to claim the throne of Eternia. 
But at least men at arms won't be a problem anymore. You villain! Problem anymore? There we go. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Here, man. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> hey, well, Scoop, please never make me do that again. I hope that was okay. <laughs> that was horrendous. <laughs> it was... I'm sitting here bright red like a bloody beach. Dude got turned into glass. He did! He did indeed! <laughs> Don't you stick bug me. Oh, what are the options? Great start, love that. I'm not allowed any options. Do I have to double click? Do I have to watch this first? Oh, there we go. Oh, I have to press play. Oh, jamming. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even deaths from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, black mold, ew, metamorphosis, hang on, call the home safety hotline and keep your family safe, don't become a statistic. Home safety hotline, 555, home safety. Okay. I'm doing good, stick bug. I'm glad you're doing good. Here we go. Screen res- that's fine. The uh, everything's fine. Oh, you different colour themes. Ooh, fancy! Audio, I think, is fine. Phobia toggles. Oh, good lord. Ugh. Arachnophobia. Fear of spiders. Entomophobia. Fear of insects. I take offence to that. Nuctophobia. Fear of the dark. Trypophobia, fear of holes. Scopophobia, fear of being watched. I think. Do you think we're being watched right now, guys? Do you think I'm being watched right now? Oh, shit. I don't know. Claustrophobia, a fear of tight spaces. And cynophobia, a fear of dogs. That's why I have my navel cannon mounted at the top of the stairs in my home for home defense. my lovely willow i hope you're doing well and dark blast i hope you're doing good i'm glad you're doing good sorry brain brain go fart me and screw to the same brain cell today <laughs> well that causes trouble but the dark door we're gonna find out i suppose oh we've got mail you've got mail subject line oh, welcome from hsh corporate oh, welcome to the home safety hotline family we're pleased to have you aboard as our brand new home safety hotline responder. Roll. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. <laughs> Regina. <laughs> she will be calling you today to brief you on your duties and be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, responders of 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. As sincerely, HSH Corporate. The home safety hotline. With you in mind. Are you being watched? I know! I bloody hope not. I saw you came online. I had to stop watching my shows to jump in. Oh, Whimsy, don't be silly. Go watch your shows. Be much more entertaining, trust me. Is it a Regina or a Vagina? Regina? Vagina? Hippopotamus monster rust. Oh my gosh. Hippopot. Hippopoto monstro. Monstros equipped telephobia is the irrational fear of big words. I do know it was a big word, but I didn't know it was hippopoto. That's great. <laughs> oh, hello, Raiders! Babu Kong! Welcome! I like it when my alerts work. It makes me happy. 
so much. Thank you for the sub. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Black Rose VT, thank you so much for the follow and welcome in. How are you doing, Bamboo Kong? I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Whatever mayhem you were up to, remember to hydrate, stretch, and do all those things you need to do to look after yourself. Moth butchering names. Okay, it's Regina. How else do you say Regina? 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 <laughs> what do I say? Hello, Coppat. How are you? Don't you crunch me. We've got to work together today. Right, it's... I'm doing amazing stream with great. I'm glad to hear. I'm so glad to hear. And thank you so much for the rate. That's very sweet of you. And your roll. Take my home. Where's Virginia? I'm fine, just a killing. Chilling and a killing. I hope you're not killing too much. A subject line notice video files on desktop from corporate. Attention, call team. Due to an error with our archival network, some of you may notice video files from our archive disappearing on your desk. No, not disappearing, appearing on your desktops. Please disregard these. <laughs> I won't. I'll watch them. I'm a nosy little moon. They will be cleared up in due time. Sincerely, corporate. It's night time for me. What should I do? Watch disturbing the scared. Oh, see, Lolly, that's a good question because I too like to go down a spooky rabbit hole when I'm lying in bed. And it's pitch black. And all I can see is the spookiness of my phone. But on the other hand, getting sleep is good. So it's up to you, really. Say it like an angry British lady, ma'am. Reginald. Reginald. Reginald Peterbot. Like that? So many new people stop by stream. Oh, I'm so glad to hear. Again, please go and check Bamboo Kong up. You have a lovely, lovely bean. Everyone here is a lovely bean. I'll be lurking. Of course, no worries. Enjoy your nom noms. And thank you for the lurk as well, Black Rose. Right. I... I guess... We'll go on to the... Are there any Easter eggs? 4th, 24, 1996. Well, apparently we've gone back in bloody time. And to the game, I suppose. I, I hope this is the game. Monday? No! True horror! <laughs> Too scary. Sega! Welcome, employee. To begin shift, please clock in below. It's just the female version of Reginald. Makes sense. Ooh, what is this then? Entries. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that gave me anxiety. Oh, I don't know if I could do this. <laughs> that was horrible. I can't believe you've done this. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline, new employee. My Hi, name is Carol, thank you so and much I'll be acting as your supervisor during your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH responder. Okay. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. Okay. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazards. Oh, I have to listen to them? We'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Oh, don't do that family corporate bullshit on me. You're part of the family, load of bollocks. You don't care. Okay, so what have we got then? Bed bugs. That's, that's, I'm pretty sure that's not a bed bug. I might be wrong, but that's not a bed bug. Bed bugs are small insects known for feeding the blood of humans and other mammals, and their tendency to inhab inhabit sleeping areas of their own. <laughs> That is genuine fear! <laughs> genuine fear! <laughs> Hello. John here. Hi, John. My wife insisted I call this number. Can you guys hear it okay? It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. Yeah, I thought it was a stink bug. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. 
Join Trina. Like to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just coffee. Let me have my bagel. Um, is the sound okay or do I need to turn it up a bit? Put on hold. Oh, okay. Please hold. <laughs> Please hold. <gasps> we got music. Da, 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 da. Um, itchiness, delayed on site, bed bugs not known to transmit. Also, do, do, uh, am I being timed here? Do I need to quickly read? It's a bite! Audio song. Yeah, okay. Bit weird. Uh, black mold. Yep, that's mold. With your breathing problems, uh, does stuff. I, 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 am I timed? I don't know if I'm timed. What do you mean there's an audio sample of ants? Ugh! Oh, I don't like that. Uh, infested with these, sometimes reporting a faint rustling sound. But how am I supposed to know what it is? I'll quote it to wait. John here. Infestation. Specks of dirt in the kitchen. Just looks like coffee. Cockroach is known to home as a cockroach. Oh, oh! So it's a coffee grounds! Similar to coffee grounds. No, no, no. But, but he says it looks like coffee. Does he have a mold or cockroaches? Take your time? Okay, good. Good. What else we got? Housefly? Okay, I, I'm between black mold and cockroach. <laughs> Weakness around those whose death is impending. That's fantastic. They've always got bloody flies around. A homeowner's afflicted house flies commonly report buzzing sounds and thoughts of decay. <laughs> you got me. House flies are no immediate danger, but it's disease carriers. Okay, not that. Uh, 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 get away. My, that's not a mouse. That's a rat. I think. A squeak, 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 squeak. See, that's adorable. How can you not like these? Small round dropping. Mole. Oh, I love moles. Moles are adorable. Deep burrows. The burrows tend to look like a volcano. They're known to eat insects. Oh. Well, that's just cute. Uh, related to relief the soil. Wait, they also have close relations to the ones beneath the soil. Moles are persistent and cannot usually be persuaded. Never kill a mole. I mean the ones beneath the soil. <gasps> ah! Look at the baby! Rats has a longer head? Okay. That's the baby. Uh. Yeah. Termites? Oh, I hate termites. Okay. Oh, ticks are horrendous. I didn't know they were arachnids. No wonder they're horrendous. And then everything else is inaccessible. So it's definitely between black mold and cockroaches. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coffee to me. I don't know. Looks like coffee. I think that's the main bit. I'm the one beneath the soil. I used to work for a mole place. Oh, really? I hope you looked after them. Moles are cute. Well, howdy to you, ex the rat. How are you? Thank you for the first time chat. Black mold is common household fungus, warm locations, small black spots, musty smell, allergic reaction, breathing problem. Damage to household, blah blah blah. I think it's a cockroach. Which again, I actually find kind of cute. Small insects known to be common household pets. Home is bought. How many reports seeing droppings appear to coffee grounds? No immediate danger, but are known to be disease carriers. They frequently. Wait, what? They frequently have the kitchens. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Uh, use our pest removal service. I mean, yeah, that's fine. So I scroll down to cockroach. I'm doing well, thank you. How do you find a cockroach cute? Quite easily. 
I had one nibble my little finger once. It was a giant cockroach, and I think that cured like any kind of fear I would have ever had for them. Ah! I'd barely finished the other one. Give me a bloody chance. Let me have a cup of tea between them. Hi, I'm so sorry. My name is Grace. Hey, Grace. And nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Okay. Really, I can't sleep at night because of this. Not my problem. Coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like. <laughs> You know, it's, okay. it's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. <laughs> it sounds like eek, eek, eek. <laughs> okay, please hold. Please hold. <laughs> uh, oh, we got gophers now. Adorable. Small brown furry mammals with enlarged front teeth known for living in burrows have become a pest to burrow on their property, damaging gardens. Okay. Uh, do we have anything else new? No. Well, I'm thinking a mouse, surely. You tell me that's not an eek eek. Household homeless with mice infestation for normal marks drowned with the sound of squeaking. People are carrying diseases. Indirect danger, and then use our pest removal service. Uh, what else could it be? A raccoon? Maybe? I don't know much about raccoons. We don't have them in the UK. <laughs> what do they do? They're just cute. The Atomic Dark Fart, hello! I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? I've got, I'm, I'm on the job, so bear with me. <laughs> and hello, Tech. I hope you're taking care. More nocturnal mammals or grey and brown fur, known for the tendency to rummage through the garbage. Nests and attics. Oh. Garbage spills or clattering sounds at night. Capable of biting, spreading deadly diseases such as rabies. Oh yeah, forget that rabies. The feces contain deadly para- Oh my lord! No wonder you guys don't like raccoons. And it causes progressive neurological damage or ventures. Keep time in it, bro. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. They're intelligent and quickly to move. Raccoons wash their food and they mostly dig in trash cans. It, it says attic though. But do, do raccoons go eek eek? What noise does a raccoon make? <laughs> eek eek? I'm guessing a mice purely because we've got a sound sample. And we haven't got a sound sample for the, the raccoon. Just relaxing for now until I head off to get some sleep. Oh, very nice. Well, get some good relaxing, and when you do, I hope you have a wonderful rest. They bark! Hang on. Hang on. YouTube. Raccoon noise. What do they sound like? We're called a cub or a kit. That, that is terrifying. Hang on, I know we're playing a horror game, but this is terrifying. Look at this. What is this? What is this? We chitter for different reasons. <laughs> we're calling our mom. Or I'm... interacting. That is terrifying. We also purr. Oh, they purr? Bark and growl when in danger. Oh, angry boys. Like, as long as whatever this scream is doesn't come after frightened. me. Not a scream. That's an asthmatic. Her when we're happy and safe. Oh, he's doing the nips. Or in contact with our caregiver. We chatter to communicate. Okay, well that's adorable. I would protect it with my absolute bloody life. Uh, it's definitely mouse then. Raccoon tried to wash their food as well, so giving them quite a is the meaning. Oh, I've seen that video actually, yes! 
give pets to the trash pan. It's not cat with hands. Okay, how do I? There we are. Uh, nice. I can't believe you've done this. <gasps> Nara449, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. You should judge how, um, <laughs> well, you get to judge everything, really. Mice. It go eek eek. Mice go eek eek. I watch squeaky. Nice. Okay. We go and grab a cuppa now? Can I? Oh, that is literally the game option. Oh, there we go. We've got two minutes to. Re ah! I wish I was making those jumps up. I really do. <laughs> we hey, finally here. found the one thing that scares me Last phone calls. Week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? What? There's more piles of crap in my yard. Oh, Lordy, no. I'm talking huge piles of brown <laughs> out there. Oh, that's grim. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. <laughs> tell me what it is, so I can take care of it once and for all. Okay. Uh, please hold. Please hold. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Fifers. I hope you're doing well. Okay, so lots and lots of crap in the yard. So someone is pooping. Who's pooping in the yard? It's not going to be a bee. Moles? <laughs> Known for living deep, the forest tend to look like volcano-shaped mounds. Light. Hmm. I think it's a mole. About gophers. Do they... Well, I know they poop, but you know what I mean. Known for living in forests, they become a pest, commonly damaging gardens. To evict gophers, uh, use sage and thyme. Raccoons dookie a lot, do they? Raccoon. Raccoons. Garbage spills clashing sounds. They're feces. Maybe they're feces? Because this is the only one that mentions feces. <gasps> Hello, Emsley. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, lovely. How are you doing? I hope your stream went well. I hope you're taking care. What are you up to? So much and welcome in the Raiders. I am the Morbid Moth, a sassy British Moth VTuber who sucks at the games and life. Thank you so much! Three months! Good lord, that's very kind of you. Marthy and Lai! Here, I, I need your help. Look, listen to this man. Listen, 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 listen. Thank you. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. Someone's pooping in his yard. I was told wasn't anything. Who is to pooping? About. Is it a raccoon? Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. It's an ant. Talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Is it gopher? Tell me what it is, so I can take care of it once and for all. Or is it a mole? Who does big poopies? The only one that mentions poo is a raccoon. Not moles. Not moles? Moles? Oh, we've got conflict in the chat! Oh, damn! Yeah, who's the big stinky? It's what we want to... This is the only one that mentions poop. So, I'm thinking raccoon. Oh, Tech, I'm sorry. Just remember to look after yourself. You are indeed loved for just being who you are. Let's go, raccoon. You guys say they stink. I don't know. We don't have them. <laughs> raccoon. Molehills. Oh, don't say that. Now it's admitted it's good. Ah. Oh. Well, now I'm doubting myself. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Give me a second to read things, please. Oh, Lord. Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just 
just calling to inform you that uh, your refrigerator's been running wild over here for the past 45 wow. minutes. Wow. <laughs> running wild. Better head on over and catch it, big fella. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's been running wild. Johnny Bravo telling us our fridge is running about. What? <laughs> Molehills and poop are very different. Oh, and I'm doubting myself. Such is my existence of life. The ones beneath the soil. And oh my lord! I mean, hello. How can I help? Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? I don't know. Maybe. A kid refuses to mow, and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a Fair rainforest enough. over here. Nice. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> because of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? I I don't think we do have a lawnmower service. But what? Please hold. What am I supposed to do about this? Ticks, maybe? Tall grass. Posts with such fevers, headaches, and chills. Incredibly dangerous. Although you can move ticks, uh, it is too late to prevent diseases. Entering. Ah! Weed free lawn! Ticks. I'm sending them all in the mail. <laughs> I don't know how inaccurate the callers will be. To be fair, the general public can be very. Uh... We've all worked with the general public, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm going tick because if it's tall grass, that's the first thing I think of. And ticks are bloody nasty. They can make you very ill. There you are, ticks. Done. Bosh. <gasps> tick, thank you for the three stream streak. Hey! Like, 75%? Oh, piss off. Well, maybe if you trained me properly, I'd actually know how to help them. <laughs> and we got at least one right, though. Wait, it said human DNA confirmed. I don't mind that. It was the moles all along, probably. So click. Woo it before it's too lassate from Mike at HSH Mail. You don't know me, but I have your job. You are in danger. Oh, I used to have your job. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Truest me. Yeah, but bills. And I get to sit here and just click on the computer. It's fine. And so far, I've not seen there's any consequences to me answering incorrectly, so... Like that. Tuesday, is it? Yeah, it's your thing, Mike. You could pay my debt. <laughs> Tuesday. Fucking for Tuesday, is it? Nice. Can you not throw up over there, Lottie? She's not really. She's. Okay, no new entries. Cool, we like that. I was just about to make myself a cup of tea and catch up with the gossip. Where am I supposed to read the daily news if you call me? Hello, how can I help you? Oh, it's my boss. Hello, <laughs> it's Carol again, your supervisor. Hi. I'd like to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. I should think so too if I'm helping you people. Know this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the client that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. AKA, you're going to, uh, help them, quote unquote, probably. The missions have been updated. New entry is available. <gasps> I, bat. I love bats. Is this come some kind of horror game? Kind of. Apparently it's more 
analog horror so you know where it progresses over time kind of thing what did that sound like oh scary i am reading <clears throat> hello how can i help hey, push you again that's strike two with you people <laughs> first you tell me there's nothing then you send me the wrong information how did i send you the I wrong information Okay. Well, enjoy your time with the mole people. <laughs> well, bed teeth. Household fungus known for growing in cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheets, blankets, or comforters. A homeowner is infested with bed teeth, often report mild discomfort when sleeping, such as tickling or itching and slimy acidic residue. Oh my lord, I'm slap you. Oh hey! <sighs> Sorry, I'm a uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to <laughs> Oh dear, you need some uh hay fever tablets, Sorry. darling. Uh anything you can do to uh prevent pollen from coming in the house. <laughs> I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Maybe. Emotional <laughs> damage! <laughs> Hello, TRC. I hope you're doing well. Um... Maybe not bed teeth. Sounds grim. Carbon monoxide. Okay, yeah. Uh, cellar growths. What is that? <sighs> I mean, do you reckon mold? What is what is a hole? What is this? They have no false face. They are known for the tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances. Oh, sounds quite a helpful fellow, actually. A desk cob. They're so cute! Look at them! Known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other structures. They like to tidy their homes and assort other materials in the desk. A full speed? Full speeds are creatures with beetle like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them? <laughs> what? Are harmless unless eaten, at which point they would take root in the human stomach, feeding of its nutrients. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems. Oh lord. Oh my, there's so much. How do you expect me to read this all? I mean, house fire. You know what a fire is. Uh, pipe growth. Type of fungus that are known for making homes damp. Loud bubbling digestive noises after they eat a full meal. <laughs> a pipe hob. They consume grime. A stair slug? The f heck? Uh, black mold, probably, yes. Fungus, uh, musty, allergic reactions, and breathing problems. Yeah, black mold. That is horrendous. Hello! Are you an insect? <laughs> I hope so! Welcome in, raiders! Thank you, TLC, for the raid! Welcome in! How are you, and how is everyone? Oh my goodness gracious! Back-to-back -back raid! Hello! Welcome! Welcome in raiders, welcome! Thank you, thank you so much! How are we all doing? Ronan, thank you for-
for the raid. How are you? Thank you both of you. I have to wait another minute. I can't believe minute. you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Ginger, Candy Flandy, Rebel Might Gold, and Dog Knight. I can't Bless believe your little you've done this. Socks. Thank you so much for the follow. How are we doing? I just ended. There's no one watching. Oh, that's all right. I can't believe you've done We've this. all been there. But I hope you've all had a wonderful stream. What are you after, Historia and TRC? Please tell me. I can't me. believe Please you've done me. this. You <gasps> and Dave. Thank you for the follow. We are playing a bit of home <laughs> help hotline. I'm not sure I'm very good at it. <laughs> but how was your rate? Uh, how's your rate? How's your stream? What were you up to? Please tell me. Give me all of the juicy details and remember to stretch, hydrate, have a snack. Unless you're the snack. Mwah. And do all the things you need to do to look after yourself. Are you an insane? Diablo 2. <gasps> also, we're kind of winning, I think, at the moment. OG version. Oh, very nice. You mean uh, the good Diablo games? <laughs> you heard absolutely nothing. I am garbage. Jiggly, what are you doing coming in here bullying me? <laughs> right, let's see if I can give you a shout out now. 19 seconds? That's not good enough. I'm going to shout you out now. Two hours later. Well, not two hours, 19 seconds, but that'll do. But welcome in, Raiders. I am the Morbid Moth, a sassy British morbid VTuber who sucks at games and life. We are currently trying... Zero seconds! What do you mean zero seconds, you muppet? There we go. <laughs> like I said, we're basically a call centre for people who call up, tell us their problems, and we have to identify what they are with the information given, except they don't give us enough time to read that's it, really. Oh, thank you for the head pads. Mm. And, and the bong. Yep, and, and the bong. That works too. Okay, so we think this one is black mold, because this guy keeps sneezing. Uh, black mold. The easiest way to explain is just to show. Nice. But I said head teeth, though. Ugh. House fires, termites, stairs. What a stair slug! Look at it! <laughs> I like it. There is a Freddo. Oh, I don't want a Freddo. Really expensive things nowadays, though. Ronan was light, you're so delightful. Oh, stop it! Is Ronan telling fibs again? Oh, it's truth almighty. Mushy mosh, daijobu deska. Never mind. Oh, hello. If there's such a thing as house thieves that clean, like maybe besides the robbery. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. No, nice. I haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Uh, yes, I can put you on hold. Please hold. <laughs> ba, ba, da, da, ba. Okay, so let's have a look. Complained about the price of a Freddo. Truly confirmed UK. <laughs> was that the test, was it? A very good test, may I say so. Okay, so someone... It's definitely one of these little hob guys. The most common species found in the household. The small humanoid creatures with grey burlap-like skin. I don't know if we're timed. And small vertical tufts of hair on their head. Hi, Herbert. But it's not you. But it could be Herbert. You need a kinder surprise to go through the fred. Oh, you do. Again, shout out to America. They can have pew pew weapons, but they can't have a bit of plastic inside chocolate. <laughs> no, ma'am. No fibs to be told. Hmm. I feel like that's a fib. <laughs> uh, they have no false face. I take a hug. Oh, what big hugs to everyone? Consume dust dirt, cleaning them in the process. They come out at night. They are mischievous metamorphoses. <laughs> One should use measures to prevent provoking by leaving out a bowl of cream or milk at night. That's adorable. Okay, so it's either a hob, common hob, or a desk hob. Some species of hob that are known to inhabit desks, vanities, and other similar structures. They regularly like to tidy their homes and will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. They cannot be removed when they nest. 
You leave breadcrumbs on the desk each night before going to bed. Oh, I love this. This is like folklore. No worries, TLC. Have a wonderful rest. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Ahmed, stop it. Okay, well, this one's only desks. The other one seems to be completely everywhere. So I think it might be him. I'm going to say common hog. They come out at night. She says they're only night. Let's go common hog. Common hog. I don't know what the penalty is to get these wrong, by the way. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Leaving a bowl of cream or milk alive. That's so cute. They're just like little puss cats. Beginner's guide to dealing with the Fae. Absolutely. Folklore can get dark. Oh, I love folklore. How can you not be fascinated by it? Good lord, barely even time for a wee. Hello. Yo, Buzz Goober here. I've been having a heck of a time I got these snappers itching and open and crying all over the place. Right. Just all over the place I got these whipper snappers yelping and whining and I can't get a wink of sleep. Right. I'm trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. <laughs> Well, you just hung up, sir, so how am I supposed to do anything? Well, that's horrendous. Bit of a goober, if you ask me. <laughs> Oi, get your TV license, mate. Do my job, innit? Yeah, I think Mr. Goober needs to, uh, stop. Trippy talk of coffee, whatever. Oh, thank you very much. How are you, mother? Good <clears throat> Well, yeah. Chucky. Dog, For those who don't know, this is, this is my mum. She pops in occasionally. She looks Chucky. after me and I look after her. Favourite coffee. Baby. A chocolate favourite coffee. So a mocha. A oh. Chucky Mocky Doodle. Hello, dog. Gabna. Okay. You doing good, though? No, yeah. you've got the coughs today. No, we don't have any heating or hot water. You're quite right. You know, winter in England, no heating yeah. and hot water. Love it. Is she single? Yes, but that's not... That's not... <laughs> don't smile at me! Get out of here! <laughs> Hello, governor. <laughs> oh, she goes. She needs to look after herself today. Oh, dear. I don't mind chicken. <laughs> no! That's not what they're asking! I'll tell you what, sugar daddy or sugar... They also said that cough was very attractive. Sugar toy boy. Why have you got like a nipple on your jumper? I don't know. It must have been where I pegged it up on the line. Yeah, that's where the you peg pegged hole. it. Okay. So yeah. There's just this perfectly nipple shaped spot on her jumper. Yeah. That's just protruding. Must be from the peg. I won't do it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> thank you, Mum. <laughs> Excellent, thank you so much for the sub. Oh, you can meet off Bristol Pier, there you are. There you go, off she goes. She don't want to go to Bristol, it's too cold, okay. And too cold and hilly. Five months, oh my god, where's that time gone? Hope your mum feels better. Thank you. We, she and I are both plagued with various chronic illnesses and stuff, so it's it's we're used to it. <laughs> but mum especially, she's got um severe breathing problems and such, so yeah, in days like this she just needs to look after herself. To be fair, I wouldn't go to Bristol either. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. So what were the, because we've got like carbon monoxide, I have a feeling that's definitely going to be. Why is there an audio sample? Hang on. I'm reading. What do you want? Hello. I, I don't know what's going on inside my house. Okay. I hear something crawling in the walls. Ooh. I 
think I found teeth marks on my bedpost. Oh. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Okay, chill. Help me, please. Oh my lord, well first of all, breathe. Please hold. First of all, breathe. Something is nibbling your bedpost. What's a fracture hob? Ooh. Uh, not him. They basically make cracks in the foundation. Gotcha. Is it a gopher? It could be a gopher. <laughs> Sorry, it's me in the walls. <laughs> uh, pipe hob. Known for making hopes inside chibi like structures. They bear no force face and much smaller. They're commonly mushroom homes at night. Oh, they also clean things. Things aren't that bad. What, what about a stair slug? <laughs> it's so gross! Uh, what could be living in your walls? Bats, maybe? Can they get in the walls? Bats are a general term for a variety of species. Bats can be identified with their large ears, wings, and dark fur. Most commonly find their way inside the home during hibernation and winter. The home when it's a bat infestation will commonly report sounds of scratching or flapping and sightings of small. Okay, so there's no biting. They commonly have associations with the one above the soil. What is this? Termites. Oh, true. They do bitey nom noms, don't they? That is not a bed bug. Uh, bed teeth? I still hate that. I still hate that, bed teeth. <laughs> Uh, carpet and ants, maybe. Ah, it's, it's pellets. Faint rustling sound from their walls. And they bite her bedpost, which I would imagine is wooden. Ooh. I'm thinking maybe carpet and ants. What do you reckon? Pops seem like sprites of brownie fay. My boyfriend says it's mice. Mice?! There's the mice. But they don't go eek eek! No marks and sounds of squeaking. But it does say no marks. Biting the bedpost. Something in the walls. Teeth mark on my bedposts. No marks. That, that is a good point. No marks does sound good. Mmm. Wait, mice are small, worthless rodents? That's a bit rude! And sounds of squeaking. I hear something crawling in the walls. Ah, see, that's what's throwing me off. K material, peeling paint, hums dress, squeaky floorboards. Rude entry, can I slap it? I know, right? Carpenter ants. I think it's definitely between the carpenter ants and the mouse. There's in the home's festive, it's faint rustling sound coming from the walls. They bite when threatened. Nesting inside of wood. Ah, uh, I don't know! This is tough! No marks. You know what? We'll go mouse. I'll, I'll trust your random boyfriend, the same mouse, purely because of the, the bitey marks. If it's wrong, you can slap it. Politely. Also, uh, uh, sorry, you've eaten mouse? That's, that's not just something you can come out with. How that to splinter? <laughs> something said if we were timed or not because i feel stressed to read if i'd known we've got loads of time to read i'll be much better i don't know if they're gonna suddenly gonna be like ah oh, you've taken too long i'm gonna hang up a bit of action i didn't even try and do anything love yeah hey i'm calling about a noise i've been hearing in my house lately sounds oh, like farting. scratching or something it's real quiet so definitely some kind of pest in my walls. Okay. I've set out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. Okay. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. 
Okay, so not from mouse. That's it. That's all you're giving me. That's the okay. Whatever. Please hold. <sighs> Hearing in my house scratching, but it's quiet. Some kind of pest in my walls. Okay, that's got to be the the the, the carpenter ants. Surely. He tells Steve Jobs to go away. <laughs> I was about to say that's got to be the the, the the bloody ants. Why can't you let me live in your walls? <laughs> Look, not everyone's okay with wall things. Faint rustling sound. Yeah, definitely ants. Definitely the ants. There we go. Submit. Bosh. Life in Canada is strange. <laughs> I'll pay rent. I mean, that's the I can't. Give me a chance! How am I supposed to, like, change the printer paper? What do you want? I mean, uh, hello, how can I help? You guys handle security? I need home security installed. Someone's breaking into my house and going through all my stuff and Why are you ringing me? I know it's Bob from accounting. I know it's Bob. Bob's been envious of me. <laughs> I know what you're doing, Bob. Going through my papers, taunting me with your organization skills. <laughs> I need your best home security equipment. Pronto! <laughs> taunting me with your organization skills. That's so good. <laughs> Please hold. I think that's going to be a desk hob, isn't it? <laughs> I love that. Um, what do they sound like? Look at them shuffling. Tidy home, sort out materials in the desk. Yeah. They're not dangerous if left unprovoked. They're capable of metamorphosis. Desk hobs cannot be moved once they nest. To prevent further danger, measures to prevent metal metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave breadcrumbs on the desk. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's so cute. So, I think you have a desk hob. Please enjoy. Please enjoy. <laughs> Some quiet guy. Hello. How are you? Bob the desk hob. Ah! Hello, Gabna. Hello, Gavra Snowfall. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. There's someone dancing outside. Oh, no, no. Oh, I thought they were dancing outside my window. They were just picking up dog pills. Like, what? <laughs> Look at that little girl's chicken. chicken. Hi, guy. Thank you so much for the bitties. Accuracy 100%? <laughs> That's how it's done. Look at me. I know all the things. Nice. Thank you to that one person's boyfriend for telling me it's mice. <laughs> Locking out. Nice. We complete your Tuesday. Look, see? Human DNA. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we got a video! I'm doing okay, but I did have some crazy stuff happen yesterday. But I hope it's okay, though. I hope you're okay. Stick burn. Got a video. I'm gonna wait for the adverts to finish. Oh, wait, that, 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 yeah, an ad, an ad is just about to start, so I'm Hello, going to... Gabna. Hello, Gabna. <laughs> Nara, you are indeed welcome in. Hello, Governor. Why do you guys like that so much? An advert is just about to start, so we're not going to put on the video until the advert's done. That's that's just quarter manners, isn't it? And then I can take a sip of my coffee. Because apparently people ring every bloody 30 seconds in this place. <sighs> Reminder of better centuries. <laughs> Thank you for the five stream streak. This is concerning. Oh my. You should be concerned. Why are we being concerned? I'll be honest, I thought the stick bug was part of the game. <laughs> you know what? It wouldn't put it past me to have make them have a cockroach go across the screen. <gasps> Phoenix, hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Thank you for the three stream streak. Oh, that's a three stream streak. Three stream streak. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. I got four tyres for my truck and I forgot to book two of my... I have no idea what that is. 
I forgot to talk to him my luck nuts in two different tires. Oh! Oh, I get you now. Oh, yeah, that is... Oh, dear. I hope you're... What just happened? Why is that noise playing? No. No, what's that noise? Who's done a naughty? No, don't. I'm gonna go have to check it now. Who's done a naughty? Oh, tech! Tech! What are you doing? Thank you ever so much for the surprise gift. That is very kind of you. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Only for <laughs> 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 time <laughs> did it, bro. <laughs> To English breakfast. Oh, thank you. Oh, I can't wait for it. <laughs> this made that like, wow, which one of you? Cheeky sods. <laughs> oh, I don't know whether to be flattered or concerned. It says you've not left a message. As you've not left a message, my lovely. Like I said, we're just waiting for the ad to end and then we'll go back into the game. This is concerning. Oh my. You should be concerned. You should definitely be concerned because I'm concerned. Oh, dearie me. Oh, that's done me a chat. Oh, that nearly brought me to tears. Bloody gremlins. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, uh, have a look at some feet. So there you are. <laughs> Thank you for the head pads. Okay, welcome back from Adland. You should be back from Adland now. No, I'm not. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed the wrong buttons. So, we're going to watch the broadcast. Figure out how to undumb. There we go. Wow. The real estate update. Ooh, jammies. Lakeside Avenue. Okay, not bad. Not bad. One bed, two bathrooms. Okay, okay. That looks nice. Contact 555 three, oh, this is the old time. Berry Lane, two bed, three bathrooms. I like that one more. It looks like a Sims house, I approve. Parkway Street, four bed, five bath. Good lord. For that kind of money. That's, whoa, not bad at all. Oh. Community alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County. Parkway County. Berry County. Oh, I want that. Peanut Avenue. Two bed, two bathroom. And never mind the missing persons. I want this. Horrible. <laughs> I want that. This is a missing person. Yes, 1996. Arthur this is apparently. Oh, am I supposed to am I supposed to write these names down? Robbie Parker. Oh! <laughs> Odin son! Yeah. You had one job. What did I do? Four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and white tennis shoes. Suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing mm. a large bush or shrub on their person. Last Ooh. seen at approximately 10.25 <gasps> want this place. Please report any unusual activity to your local authority. 12,000? I want this place! <gasps> this place looks fantastic! 
out of that. Sold. Five bed, six bathroom. Give me. Never mind the missing person. That that bloody house was a steal. <laughs> I'm gonna head out now and tend to get some sleep. Of course, Dark Fart. Thank you so much for being here. Look after yourself. Okay, best boy. Okay, well. It's too woo 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 late. What is this? Is this a bloody furry? What is this? They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you. If you end up like me, log, log in me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. Oh yeah, there's like a little hole behind the desk. Okay. Hearing dark fart on that accent. I don't my neurons bleed. <laughs> You're welcome. It will come with 15 packets. Oh, thank you. Oh, tech, I will absolutely enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so bloody grateful. Speaking of grateful, I, I ended up eating all of those Milky Way stars in one sitting by accident. <laughs> they were so tasty. Thank you, Turk. Uh, attention call team. Our network team is migrating to our backend services over onto a new hosting provider. And you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries where you still have access in case the network goes down. Oh, piss off. You will still be expert. I mean, if I was in this situation, I would print them off, obviously, and have them next to me in like a little file. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy has rewarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is used horseshoe. What? Our stock of used horseshoes are as reliable as they are rusty. 90% of our supply can be verifiably forged from real iron. Supplies run out quickly, so stock up while you can. To receive your discount, simply type the following code on your online checkout. Great deal, horseshoe. <laughs> okay. I mean, a used horseshoe, not bad, not bad. Keep that above your door, be nice and lucky. Very luck, exactly. Wednesday. Wed of the nerves of the day. I love this interface. It brings like something is nostalgic about it. Okay, so we need to start remembering stuff. So pipe growths. Uncle Snow. I am revising. Oh, hey, Ross. Well. Supervisor Carol Hi. here again. We've updated Hi. your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive Ooh. information to work with for your future calls. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnosis. Uh, PNG. <laughs> Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Also available with these card items, Greg's pie sales, one pound shop specials, other stores available. Yes. New entry is now available. Okay, what have we got? Let's start from the top. A false artifact. Are seemingly human designed objects that can manifest suddenly inside a home. They are known for making a gentle buzzing sound that can usually only be heard by very young human children or animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report out of place objects or missing children. No! I think she helped me last time I Skyped the NHS. How did you get an appointment? Not yet, Teg, but shipping can take a very long time in the UK. But I'm very much looking forward to them. Uh, false artifacts was not a direct threat, can pose significant risk, blah blah blah, should not be left alone with a false artifact, because they're in danger of being encased within? Once encased, no noise made by the prey can be heard. While digestion can take several years to complete, starvation is more of a pressing cause. That's horrendous! Removal is as simple as physically moving the object out of one's home. 
Should a pet or loved one be already cased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the griefing process. Oh my word! False rosebush. A large plant-like creature that mostly commonly take on the appearance of a red rosebush. In place of roots, the creatures have two small humanoid feet. Ah! They used to chase down prey. Homeowners with rose bushes sometimes report missing pets or children. Oh no, missing pets or children! Stop. Incredible danger to homeowners, as their diet consists of small mammals, and they are known to be fast and efficient hunters. Sometimes, without children or pets to face a reduced risk, they cannot swallow anything larger than themselves. Oh, and so it's Ronan, basically. <laughs> Is the guy who's oh, it is the guy who stole the child. You're right. To remove a false rose bush they have inhabited, it's advised to keep children or pets from venturing outside. If a false rose bush goes more, more than one month without eating, it will move on to a new Lamp Sprite <laughs> Look at the fella My boyfriend said you're not timed, so you shouldn't need to pause to read. Oh, that's good. Thank you. I'm still concerned, though. <laughs> Has he played this, then, I'm guessing? Common subspecies of sprites that make their homes inside lamp fixtures. They are known for causing lamps they inhabit to flicker or burn hotter, sometimes causing a burning smell. Lamp sprites are not dangerous unless provoked. Do not, under any circumstances, turn off the lamp. <laughs> I like this one. Or attempt to reach your hand inside the lamp. They will leave on their own once the lamp of choice goes out on its own. At this point, they will attempt to seek out a new lamp. Ensure all household lamps are turned off until the expiration period. When the lamp sprite fails to find an active lamp, it will be the house. Oh, I like that. Yeah! The so go, remember if you wouldn't take their advice, why take their criticism? Be you and slay, slay, slay your enemies. Damn right, girl. <laughs> Thank you, Ash. Hey, David. Something in the basement. I've seen it. It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is. Okay. It's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Ooh. Okay. Please hold. Uh, well, memory wisp, not. Mirror nymph, not. <gasps> A tea sprite? Adorable. That's adorable. It's probably stair slug, yeah. A toilet hob. Hey. Okay. Unicorn fungi? Wait, that's a dog! Oh, it grows on the head! Okay, I see. That's cute. Whistling fungi. Ooh. Or fungi, depending. A wine spirit, same. And wood secretions. Nasty. We have any new a bogard. Ooh. The general term for a metamorphosized hob. Large hairy humanoids been six to seven feet tall. So he's too big. The malicious household activity results in injury or death. Well yeah, that was horrendous. Um so we're reckoning it's a slug. <laughs> this is so bizarre. I'm glad to know we're not timed now, though. Dog-sized slugs occupy stair bars and basements. Yep. They can be beneficial to a household as they feed on other pests such as mice and hobs. But the slimy residue they leave behind can lead to a dangerous accidents and slippage. But should you wish to remove a stair slug from the household, one can simply surround the affected stairway with salt. Do not attempt to apply salt directly. After the slug is dehydrated, you can dispose of the body. Prices in London have gone so high as some residents are using toilets for hobs. <laughs> Dirk stuff on BBC. <laughs> Andy Flandy, you are fantastic. <laughs> okay. Slug. 
scroll, 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 scroll. I've gone past it, probably. L M N O P U R S. more about the tea sprite. What do they sound like? <laughs> hee hee, gremlins, I like it. They're not dangerous, but they spread various diseases, including the fatal fey flu. What is the fatal fey flu? Can be removed or home pesticides. Uh, to avoid future infestations, always clean teacups, kettles, and mugs after use. So you bloody well should. <laughs> oh, oh, hello, hello. All right, all right, all right. What we got here then? Not my problem. I'm not Goodbye. Sure what it, could be. it just makes this nasty sound any time I run it. It's going to be the drain this. hob. Uh, nasty smell. <laughs> okay. Please hold. It's going to it's going to be the 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 the, the, the tappy hob. Where is it? Not frozen pipes. Where is he? You know the one I'm on about. Is it the faucet hob or you could it force it, don't you? Force it. Oh no, pipe hop. There we are. What does he sound like? Grand bow was out on Xbox. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Enjoy! Such a good game. I love it so much. The subspecies of the hob that are known for making home inside tube like structures such as pipe. They bear no full space and are smaller than most hobs. They will commonly emerge from their home at night and consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area. They sound so helpful. I want a hob. Pipe hobs are not a direct danger, but their physical presence can sometimes cause leaks or clogs. They are also capable of mischievous acts such as metamorphosis. Pipe hobs cannot be compelled to leave on their own. Instead, one should take measures to provo prevent provoking metamorphosis and leaving out a clipping of hair. See, maybe it's not though, because it doesn't say about a nasty smell. Arthur and Fawcett. Toilet tops, first with inhabit, maybe it's such a clue of clog, I get forcing. Or maybe I'm overthinking it. Else it would be though. Yeah, I think we'll just go for pipe hob. There's nothing else unless it's a pipe growth. Weird noises come from the bathroom faucet. Damp tube like structures. Pipe growths often grow slightly larger than pipes they inhabit. They'll clog the pipe indefinitely until the removal. They make loud bubbling digestion noises after they eat a full meal. They attempt to eat anything that comes inside their domain. Most commonly, accidents occur when a human child attempts to reach their hand inside their home. Do not attempt. Uh, to remove... Again, doesn't say any... Ugh. One should garnish the inside of the replacement home with an assortment of meat juices and insects. Ugh. Place the replacement home near one of the pipe's openings and leave it overnight. The following day, the pipe grip should be moved into its new home, where it can be safely relocated. I'd say pipe hob. I don't know what else. There's there's no other faucet one. So. <laughs> pipe hob. What did the grape say when it got crushed? Nothing. It let out a little while. <laughs> okay, that's good. What are the we were reading about the wispy thing? I was <clears throat> what? my wife. I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't. My wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you an insane? That is not appropriate! 
please hold. Aww. Well, first things first, I want to give him a hug. Second thing second, I literally was just talking about the memory wisp. You <laughs> I thought that was, I thought that was the, 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 <laughs> I thought that was the thing then. That's the reviewer. Our moth bunnies. Oh my god, it's hi, how are you? It's going okay, I think. Chad is helping me more than <laughs> I care to admit. Remember, the visible Ozilus has no moving memories from the homeowners. Report missing pictures, photo hours, and then the inability to remember faces of loved ones. They're not a danger to the physical health, however, their ability to affect human memory can leave households, accidents, or reckless activity. They will not move out of the house on their own. Once they have stolen the inhabitants' memories, there is no- Oh, Well, that's sad. That's a sad one. Hang on, Moth Malice, let me give you a shout out, my lovely. You are a beautiful being. How are you doing? I hope you're taking care of yourself. Go follow Moth Mallows! They're bloody adorable and squishy. Uh, I don't- uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say Memory Wisp. I don't know what else. Okay, I always choose the wrong thing to go to. That's a really good voice acting, though. My grandpa has the heart of a lion and a lifetime ban from the zoo. Oh my <laughs> Stop it. I'm hungry right now. How are you? I'm good, thank you. It's nice to meet you, hungry. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this weird info you said, <laughs> but I tried it and uh, it didn't fix the faucet. Oh no! I'm calling a plumber. Thanks a lot for wasting my time. No, you're gonna get eaten! The, the, the thing's gonna eat you! Okay, well... Whatevs. <laughs> hey, McSocal, I am thoroughly enjoying this. I, I mean, apparently I'm crap at it, but... <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you, Vespa. How are you? Wham wham. <gasps> you right, mate? Oh, oh no, not another one of these! Oh, it's Johnny Bravo again! I have never seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I ain't putting up with it. I ought to grab you by the goober. Oh, I don't like those ones. I really don't like these ones. Ugh, they make me uncomfy. As someone who hates phone calls anyway, like just getting a phone call like that. Ugh. The more puns, the worse I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> the meme effect. I am Fred Pinball. Ba -bam. Okay, well, mine's bright. Subspecies spider consuming wine. Their small, large eyes are winged creatures, translucent skin that appears red when they are feeding. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Homeowners infested with wine sprites commonly report broken glasses and the wine having a smell. <clears throat> Hello, Home Hotline. How can I help you? Hi, Harvey. Uh, hi. I, uh, have no idea what's happening. Well, that's helpful. My sheets are growing nasty, sharp things oh, on them. Oh, teeth like, things. It's like crazy. Head sheet teeth. Do I need teeth, to be showering teeth. more often or yes. something? Yes, yes. I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, <clears throat> so maybe that's it? I mean, to be fair, once a week isn't terrible. I've heard worse. Please hold. I bet he plays League. Uh, uh Fae Flu. Okay. Why is the music all iffy? Listen to the music. Ooh, that ain't right. Yeah, bed teeth. Bed teeth. 
Ugh. Hey. Oh, but I was reading about things. What do you mean? Oh, bollocks. Can you wait till my internet's back, please? Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. Well, we're out of service the at the wall moment. The bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's... Fracture imp. I'm imp fracture. Sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. Oh, okay. cat. But he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Oh. <laughs> Well, that and he's a fecking cat, so I'm pretty sure he can't crack a wall, love. Please hold. Network error, that means you're getting fired. No, it doesn't! The dead wife guy, what was the answer? I think it was, um, the memory wisp. Uh, fracture, what boy? Fracture hob. Fracture hob. This boy. Ah, look, see, it's back now. Cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes they inhabit. They are physically similar to other hobs in stature and size, with the exception of generally longer, wider hair knobs. They also bear a false face. The fracture hobs are not dangerous, but the fractures and cracks they cause can lead to foundation issues in the home. Like any other hob, they are capable of metamorphosing. The fracture hobs cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further danger, measures to prevent should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. No cheese is for us, Mises. I need someone or something to hug. I'm starting to freak out. Oh, it's fine. Just leave out some cheese. You'll be fine. To be honest, these hops sound fantastic. I want them in my house. Well, maybe not the Fracture Boy. Sip, 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 sip. Frozen pipes. I mean, I have an inkling what they are. Oh! Oh, I didn't like that. Common household has been cold seasoned, characterised by the water inside the pipes freezing and expanding, causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks. The homeowners of frozen pipes may. Oh, attention, hall. What? Gary! Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. Mm -hmm. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? Yes! What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Okay, well... Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. Did you I'll leave out the bowl of cream, though? And tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! Ick! Whoa, 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 whoa! I refuse to talk to someone like you! How dare you speak to me that way for a start? If you didn't put cream out, that's that's your problem, not mine. Please hold. Weird noise going to live in. Now we're having power outages. Sleep. Absolute knoblet. But it's probably transformed now. Uh, how to accidentally... Yep, yep, see, it's transformed into a boggart. If you just put the cream out, you wouldn't have a boggart wandering about trying to nibble your toes. They're extremely dangerous to humans and pets due to their malicious nightly household activities, which can cause injury or death. They react violently when seen by humans, but thankfully these instances are rare as they excel at staying hidden. Do not, under any circumstances, refer to an active boggart by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premises. Provided you do not speak to the boggart at any time in any fashion, it will remain in its original location. So surely we shouldn't tell this guy he has a boggart then? Yeah, so the hobs are basically gremlins. If you don't... So what he had was a common hob. And it was tidying up his house. <laughs> I think. Was it this guy? Hmm. And he didn't leave out a bowl of cream. And now it's Angie. 
and it will murder him. Such good audio. Students, subscribe notification maybe <laughs> i'm glad to hear <laughs> so what do we submit it as because if we tell him he's not gonna am i overthinking this oh i don't know what to do hello can do i hope you're doing well Do I just tell him it's mice? <laughs> Should we just tell him it's mice? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put down bugger. I, surely, because they said they only give them the right info that they need. So they wouldn't tell him that. They would only tell him like, oh, get out your house. Feels kind of a knob, so if he does die. <laughs> <laughs> Accuracy 66.66666666%. Nice. I have no idea if that actually is the accuracy. <laughs> Wednesday is am I really? Oh, I don't want this to end. I'm enjoying this. Science mysteries, give me. Whoa, science! I told him it's a bogart because I remember them saying at the beginning that they won't tell them the wrong thing. So surely, if we tell him the right thing, they wouldn't tell him to. I don't know. Either way, well, F for him. Oh, come on! Don't backseat. <laughs> The mystery of mice. Hello. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. It's so From cute. the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. That's adorable. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. Probably. Humans have fucked up a lot of things. This Excuse my language. The mus musculus. Ah, muscular. Otherwise known as the common house mouse. Oh, we're doing well, thank you, Candu. I hope you're doing well. And this is Mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse, a newly discovered species exactly. known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Pretty eyeballs. Mice have brains smaller <gasps> than peanuts. And Mice have brains, holy cow. Yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. Well, this was my thinking, Nora. I thought if I told him it's a boggart, they only tell them the information they need to know. What they said at the beginning, so I'm hoping they just tell him to, like, get out the house, rather than it's a boggart. Always a delight to see you stream. Oh, stop it, can do. It's always a pleasure to see you here. And in the case of the smart mouse, Perhaps even capable of communication. Ooh. With the help of modern computer technology, technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Can, can someone at Squeaku in this so she can use that as like her intro? <laughs> and then she could just have a video of her screaming. <laughs> What do you think? Is this a wonder of evolution? 
quarry just hearing things that aren't there. Uh, the mice and men have more in common than <laughs> of mice and thought. men. <laughs> well, I suppose that's what makes this. Shout out to GCSE in English takers. Well, that was traumatic. Thanks for that. Love that. You've got mail. Introducing our new office pet. Oh, it's a buddy cat. Hello, welcome Safety Hotline family. We're excited to introduce you all to our brand new office pet, Whiskers. Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and serious about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Note, please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers as he's still getting over from the office and has scheduled feeding time. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. Hello, Whiskers. Ah, oh, you're adorable. Why are you trying- Time time in it, bro. For fuck's sake. Do you think the mice are too smart? They're trying to kill the, the Your smart posture mice. is regrettable. Concentrate on sitting straight. Maple, thank you. The hydrate posture check and the head pads. <laughs> you're spoiling me, you are. The red flags, just a little bit. Well, you'd give yourself the same courtesy, Maple. Are you, though? Logging in. Thursdays. Ugh, Thursdays are worse. Actually, Tuesdays are the worst. Tuesdays, isn't it? Starky. It will be a soft sparkle. Welcome, employee. Put a begin shift. Please check in below. Hmm. What is whistling, fungi? We didn't get to read that last time. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. Hi, Carol. I'm watching the closely employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. Thank you. I have once again updated your permissions so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work. My shot. Our eyes rest upon thee. Our eyes rest upon thee. Don't you be starting that cult bullshittery. Thank you. Permissions have been updated. New entries available. Okay, well, I'm going to pause for 20 seconds because I still haven't read the other one. A whistling fungi are small mushroom like growths with many small holes in their caps that frequently grow through drywall gaps and cracks. A homeowner is infested with whistling fungi, often report a distant whistling sound coming from their walls. Warning if you ever hear whistling fungi singing in harmony, evacuate your house immediately. Whistling fungi are rarely dangerous to humans, but their growth can cause foundation problems. If the fungi ever sing in harmony, evacuate immediately and do not return for any reason. Otherwise, whistling fungi can be removed with common weed killers or by utilizing our removal service. Uh, ensure there's no open cracks in your. Oh, they're so pretty! Excuse me, I'm listening to SoundCloud! Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just Ooh. aches and pains constantly. But a month still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water. Because wow. we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems. <gasps> it's now. the beat! I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all it's kinds the beat. of terrible things that can happen to the water. So, can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? It's the beat! You eat homegrown fruit and veggies! Please hold. It's the, the, the beat, beat, the beat, beat. Before we do that, I want to read these other ones. A travel gnome. Hee <laughs> hee! He sounds fun! The highly invasive subspecies that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travellers to induce themselves to new households. They are found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. He looks like he's apart from Marcos for being inferior in chess. <laughs> Travel gnomes can affect the household in various ways. They'll create expansive gardens inside the new homes, leaving soil, plants, and common outdoor pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to new variety of dangerous pests, can create foundation problems. Growing pesticides can deter a travel gnome. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Can invite others to stay at the household to create new opportunities. Okay, they, they go around. What is a seedling? Seedlings are small insectoid creatures about the size of an aphid. 
They are known for burrowing in outdoor planters. Oh god, I still don't trust it. Gardens feeding off the roots of nearby weeds. Though thus weed-killing lifestyles can make them useful for gardeners, seedlings are extremely territorial and react violently to anything competing for food source. Never remove a weed from a seedling-infested garden. They are known to compel compost competitors or com no, as competitors to commit violent acts on themselves or others. To remove seedlings from a garden, one should not go near the established feeding grounds. Instead, one should use a hose, sprinklers, or similar ranged devices. Portal. Oh, now it's playing with portals. Portals are door-shaped openings to an outdoor location, other than the homeowners discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. The portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. <laughs> portals, it's a door. They can introduce a wide variety of dangerous elements and should be dealt with as soon governor. as they are discovered. Hello, Governor! Ninja Journal 98, hello! I know the portal sounds lovely, doesn't it? They can additionally cause drafts and introduce heating problems. Portals should be sealed shut with wooden planks, bricks, or oven building materials. The seal should be airtight as allow not as do not allow anything to come inside the home. Advise to utilize home security services. Oh, that's a night wisp. Ooh. Ooh. Night. That's like someone in the bath. Night wisps are a subspecies of wisp in the form of bright floating lights. They are known to hover outside the windows at night while whispering promises of wealth and good. Oh, hell no! Nah. <laughs> ah, yes, touching grass, a game as big as big. <laughs> Y'all are savage today. Wisps are not dangerous to humans unless listened to. Refrain from listening to their whispers and following their direction. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Macabre Witch of Sigils. Fantastic name. Welcome in. And thank you so much for the follow. Here to lurk, vibe, and watch HSH shenanigans. Well, thank you very much, Ninja Gerbil. Thank you for the follow, Macabre Wish. Nightwits will move on to other homes after a week if they're ignored. Drown out their whispers with music or wear sleep masks. A night gnome is a gnome of the good night. Oh. I hate gnomes. Oh, that's horrible. Stick bug. Small hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. The homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sighting them in the middle of the night, or report heavy breathing sounds during late hours. They're not known to be deadly to humans, but those who suffer from heart conditions should consider wearing sleep masks to, be to prevent being startled by their presence. <laughs> In a bit of pain, but I'm glad because I have some new juice to try. A gar cactus juice. Ooh. Well, I'm sorry to hear you're in a bit of pain, my lovely. I hope, you know, I hope it uh, gets a bit better soon. I know it never truly goes away. Do you know what I mean? Enjoy your juice. You've got to let me know how that is. That sounds delicious. Gnomes will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by your inhabitants' sleeping activity. There is no guarantee, however, if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. A laundry gnomes? Why are there so many gnomes? Oh, I don't like that. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, I hate gnomes. Uh, this solidifies my hatred for gnomes. <laughs> Thick, fibre-like fur. They can fold their bodies into various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. Homeowners with laundry gnomes often report louder rattling or banging sounds coming inside the washing machine. Would you prefer canals or canoplins? <laughs> they pose no direct threat. Uh, they lead to broken washing machines or dryers. Well, that's just rude. And cause small floods. Water damage can lead to further problems. Blah, blah, blah. Do not leave them alone. Laundry gnomes will move on if they're no longer permitted to enter a washing machine. <laughs> Get out! Get out of the washing machine! Crunch, <laughs> crunch, crunch. 
inspect each and every piece of laundry before washing. Okay. The hoard? Excuse me? You can't just have, like, individual things and then hit me with a the hoard. An invisible, odorless collective consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse. The tendency to store vast quantities of trash in the home make them prone to spreading disease to the home's inhabitants. Rotten food, used syringes, and rusty metal are among the more common household hazards that can be introduced by the horde's presence. Once introduced to a home, the horde will continue to gather and the hoard their treasures indefinitely. It advised to sell to one home at the first sign of the horde's presence to make the relocation process go smoothly. <laughs> to prevent the horde from gathering in one's home, it is advised to keep one's home as tidy as possible as to not attract the horde's attention. The introduction of a hop to the household can offer- I was about to say, hops are good for that. Hops are best boys. Floor roots? Ugh. Yeah, that's a pass from me. It sounds like me and my mates went drunk. <laughs> Tea time in it, bro. I don't need to hydrate. Make sure you hydrate as well. You know the rules around here. If I hydrate, you have to hydrate. <sighs> it tastes like green apples and pears. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, I'm quite envious of your drink then. roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects of humans in their vicinity. They grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awaken aware humans. However, if not spotted quickly, and they are known as a strangling hazard for human children and pets, removal should be a priority in family households. They require something to wrap around before they will cease their growth. It is advised to acquire dolls or similar human-shaped fats and hill to give them a safe alternative. Place the dolls in the affected room and leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the doll's roots should be gone, and the room safe to inhabit once more. Make any repairs to the floor as needed. <gasps> Fae flu! That's what we've been reading about. Oh, he's got flowers on his face! Oh, that's quite nice! Rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by household fay. Symptoms include headaches, fever, eye discoloration, and seeds taking root in skin pores, and blooming! This sounds alright to me. Rarely fatal, but can have long-lasting effects on the lifetime health of an affected human. Symptoms include dizziness, fatigue, monocolored vision, ooh, deliriousness, and endless dreams. There is no cure, however one can take precautions against it. A fey feast? That looks mighty suspicious. <laughs> Mid to large sized piles of various edible food substances, frequently including flour, cornmeal, and various species of fungi. They are known to appear near eating areas of the home. The feasts are not dangerous if consumed, but if left untouched, can provoke more dangerous activity, or else its continued presence can attract other household pests such as cockroaches or carpenter ants. Feasts are a size of a hospitable presence, and such should be consumed immediately when sighted to prevent provoking or offending the gifter. For maximum safety, all members of the home should participate. Cellar Grotto. Ooh. Cave like networks known. Excuse me! Sometimes appear spontaneously <laughs> in cellars and basements. Homeowners of cellar grottos report a bad smell coming from the basement, higher humidity, and notable dogs and related pests. They can introduce a number of dangerous pests, and the height and humidity can cause more floorboards, weakened foundations, and other hazards. They can be removed by finding the creator's presence and presenting them with a gift of gold. The creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. For safety, bring a splunking and snorkeling equipment. This game is making me freak out. I'm loving this. Tech, even if it does, you know, it's okay. We all have our up and downs. At the end of the day, as long as you're looking after yourself. It's okay to be sad. 
is infested huh? with attic gnomes will often report a knocking or rapping sound coming from their ceilings or a surplus of dust coming out of the ventilation system. They can often be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pests such as spiders. Ooh, very nice. However, when frightened, they would violently expel their meals, ah! which will cause large quantities of dust into the air, causing air quality issues. They are easily frightened. To remove an attic gnome, it is recommended to dust and clean your attics and ceilings regularly to avoid giving us food. This will also prevent other attic gnomes from nesting. Okay, so this guy is the beat. So for those who want to hear the beat, big beat. Big beat. Here it is, full speed. Beat like appearance known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising a monster vegetable. The harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they'll take root in the human's stomach, the feeding of his nutrients for a lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems. They only find themselves in gardens that grow beets. If you do not wish to contend with the false beets, it advised to avoid growing beets. A swallowed false beet cannot be removed without killing its host. But yeah, it's defi I think it's definitely a false beet. Right. Full speed! We caught up. Ba -ba -bum! Nice! I, I think the false artifact is the scariest one so far. The others you can do stuff against, but this one is hard to pin down. We didn't read the wood solution. <laughs> What? Hello? Yay! I followed every instruction your people sent me, but okay. I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Oh no! Uh, my daughter has called Pest Control and she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. <gasps> no! Your posture is regrettable. We got Concentrate that on sitting straight. What one would that be then? Thank you for the posture check void too. What one would that have been then? I guess the fracture boy. The fracture hob. It wasn't right. No. What else would it have been? The police told me to call Maybe. this number, so I uh, hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I think, I think somebody is stalking me. Oh? I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into <gasps> the, the house. The sleep gnome! When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, no. so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please... Send somebody or do something about this. I will, Felicia. I can hardly sleep anymore. No, of course, I'll help you. I wonder what the fracture one was then. I, I'm genuinely. What one would that have been? Hunter ants? I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Wendigo Bacon Man, thank you so much. What would it have been? I genuinely don't know. This game's called Home Safety, um, uh, Home Safety Hotline. Find it there, Bacon Man. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you enjoy yourself. I have no idea what it could have been. Frozen pipes? Cracks, maybe? Uh, pipe growth? Possibly? No, because she didn't say there was any noise. Absolutely no clue. Oh well. Well, for you, my lovely, you have the nighttime gnome, sleepy gnome. That one. Because you're being stared at at night. So. I, there's no solution, really, love. He'll either love you or leave you. There's no in between. There we are. What would it have been? A mole? Oh, 
voice. I have no clue. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. The gnome is just shy. Oh, poor baby gnome. Oh, go on then. You can tell what it is. Hello, yes. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Maybe. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically Ooh. reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Okay. Please hold. I read one about this. Bangy and air quality. Uh, uh. All from banging on the ceiling seems to have been drastically reduced. Bang whistling sound. No. It was just termites, was it really? That's that, That's a difficult one. Really? Peeling paint, small holes in the drive boards. Huh. Start at the top. Knocking or rapping sound, surplus of dust. What would it is? Could be an attic gnome. Okay, so I, I know you guys are guessing, but, but like I said, try not to backseat. <laughs> could, could be... Well, yeah, Attic Gnome is definitely a possibility. Uh, that's okay! Don't worry about it. I just want to, like, try and deduce first, and then, you know. That is not a bed bug, though. That is really annoying. <laughs> Carbon monoxide. Detective. Exactly. We get my Sherlock on, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 definitely not that. Air quality. The only other thing it could be. Oh, that, see, that's just noisy. The pre update version? I don't know, I, I did update it. Because there was a patch this morning. What sound does carbon monoxide make? That's a good point, actually. Did we, did we actually listen to it? That's how I to travel now. Okay, yeah, I think it is Attic Gnome after reading that, um, but carbon monoxide apparently makes a sound. Great, love that. <laughs> Attic Gnome. Coming out of their ventilation system. Air quality reduced. It's so weird you have ventilation systems. I don't know, in the UK at least, we, we don't really have those. Like, not like active ones, because you know you have like all vents in your floors and stuff. We, we don't have that. <laughs> what am I doing scrolling? It's at the top. No sight or smell, but it makes a sound. It like you. <laughs> a ring ring. Mwah. Please help me. Oh. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. It's okay. So please say you can help. Okay, well. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. Okay. He's eight years old and such a sweet heart. Okay. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy clothes. The silly, bees. I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. Okay. <laughs> That's so, so much. Well, okay. Please, please, please say you can help me find him. He's all that I have. Check in for the bees. Okay, well, first things first. You didn't exactly give me a description. Please hold. Why is he scared of bees? Uh, large hive structures, they obey their queen, report passing of bee sighting. To remove bees, one must locate the hive. 
what was the name of the missing child? It was, it was Jeremy. Uh, the only thing I can think of is the false artifact. Because it makes a gentle buzzing sound that can only usually be heard by very young human children. Which would explain the bee sound. Uh, false artifacts often report out-of-place objects or missing children or pets. Da 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 oh. Nothing can be done. You just use a memory wisp to speed up the grief. Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry, my lovely. There's nothing to be done. Your child's gone. Um... Oh, oh, that's horrible! Oh well, another day on the job. <laughs> oh well. Such is life. You get sucked into a TV every now and then. Eh, it happens to the best of us. Oh, now you let me read for a bit. I really need to hydrate to go for my foodie Don't you foodie woody me. You stop that sound. So that's what happens when you don't pay the TV license. <laughs> Your child's gone. Sounds like a skill Hi. issue. I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. All right. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that okay. were not previously disclosed. As well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. <laughs> okay, that's definitely. I have been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering <laughs> if you can offer any kind of legal advice. I can. Um, yeah, just keep offering them cheese. Please hold. So that's definitely the the the, the fracture boy. <laughs> That's trees and fractures. It's gonna be a fracture boy. Is he? Well, you may be a moth, and you may not have wings like a butterfly, but being a babbly moth makes you adorable. So funny. <laughs> Dragon eye. Stop that. Thank you. Uh, to prevent danger, these add a slice of cheese. Yep. <laughs> fracture hog. Dragon eye. Don't catch me off guard like that. But thank you very much. I am indeed a, a very big babbler. <laughs> I know. Is a curse. I'm sorry. Fracture hog. But I know I I give myself a lamp. It's okay. There we are. I can lamp myself if needed. Ah. Hello, hello, hello. Oh no. I don't like this guy. Go away. I'm glad I've got my lamp. No, my lamp! Oh! I I hate these guys. I I absolutely hate those guys. It's just so uncomfortable. Oh, it makes you go. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna get breakfast. Oh, I hate that. Thanks, I hated that. Please, please never call again. Ugh. Try swatting them. Oh. Like that. Hey, so my doctor told me I to call this number. I have no idea why he won't tell me anything. Okay. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. I thought you got a cold. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches, and just barely I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. <gasps> really freaked out right He's now, got fave flu! I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything online. Can you help me? Oh no! There's nothing I can do to help you. But on the plus side, 
You're going to be a pretty little flower. Please hold. Think of it this... Oh, the music's gone all horrible again. Think of it this way. You're going to look very beautiful. Mm. Yeah, it's Fae Flu. I drink water and rest. <laughs> Just have some orange juice. You'll be fine. Take some vitamins. <laughs> Uh, you've got Fae Flu, my buddy. <sighs> there you are. So no orange drink when? <laughs> it, it depends. Orange drink? Are we talking orange? Or like Tango? Or like Fanta? Misdiagnosing his lick much? <laughs> Don't you dare! Stop that. Suggest me, Uncle Greg? <laughs> Hi, Kyle. You gotta tell me what's going oh, good on Lord. inside my home, okay? I don't know. Get out over here. Okay, breathe. Holes time all over my in it, bro. Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. Oh. She probably took Hello, off Gavna. after seeing Hello, me. Hello, Gavna. Hello, Sick. How are you? I need help. Bad. <gasps> Guys, there's a dog missing. Please hold. There is a dog missing. Uh, so it's going to be deadly. So we'll be looking for holes in the wall. Whistling sound. You ever hear whistling? Holes in the house. We've got a. Uh. Puppy is already food. Ah! Refusal. What? What makes. No! What makes holes? What makes holes? Uh. Uh. Marinymph? What's Marinymph? Orny sand? What are you getting these from? That's why house fires. The horde! Gophers! Maybe it's gophers. Gophers, guys. Uh I don't know. What makes holes? Cellar growth? Oh no, that's the weird sploosh. Is that a grotto? Bad smell, humidity, no. Bed teeth, bed bugs, bat, attic gnome? Oh, I don't know! Highly aggressive gophers, maybe. Oh. Oh, this one's caught me a bit. Highly, it just sounds like highly aggressive gophers, doesn't it? Holes all over my house. Stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage. What are the gophers unionize? And his dog's missing. The fungi have holes. But they only grow through holes. Portals, old cellars, other holes are available. <laughs> You've got this, channel them brain cells. I'm trying! Never sick, you know I can't cook. Moles! Are they angry moles? Laundry gnome, lamps fire. <laughs> house fire? Was your house on fire? The horde doesn't cause holes. Gopher. Oh, 
over my house big wooden splinters big gaping one in the kitchen and I don't know how deep it goes Ready for it. Stop it! Greyhound Goblin is nowhere to be found. Maybe it's his dumb dog digging in all the holes. <laughs> He's not mentioning any animals are possessed. Exactly. That's the, what I'm struggling with. How did he say there's nothing else? Let the moth cook. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll start from the bottom. It's not a wood secretion because the wood isn't... The wood isn't... Sticky. <laughs> it's not a wine sprite because wine in it. Not whistling fungi. Because they're the growths in the hall. Unicorn. Oh! Broken four buttons. What if it's unicorn fungi? We'll go away after a few months of our treatment. It could also be treated or removed surgically. Prevent fungi, baby or fat. Rare horn shaped fungus known to grow on the heads often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report the pets furiously digging around or inside their home. Unicorn fungi, not directly harmful, can often lead to other household broken floorboards or waking up other things beneath the soil. I'm gonna go for this one! I'm gonna go for this one. How does that sound to you? Yeah, furiously digging around. That would match with like a whole bunch of holes. And then the fact that she's missing, she's just digging down. We didn't mention anything on his doggo, no, but... My skittish. His dog literally matches. <laughs> Of does, doesn't he? Six termites. I'm going to say, you know, I don't know what else it would be. Give it a go. I, I don't know how that helps you, my sir, but good luck. I hope your dog is okay. Click, click. Oh, really? Oi, oi, Jackie. You all right, right, love? I'm going to need someone to explain what in the name of the stretch. is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation okay. and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. <laughs> and my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in nice. there. Nice. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? <laughs> is this what happens when you buy a bad rug? Oh, I love it. Uh, 
dirt. Covered in soil and plants. Please hold. Okay. It's great organizing. Oh my lord. Now I've got two that come to mind. The first one, depends on obviously what we come up with first, is seedlings. They are known for burrowing, uh, but they're outside. But they compel uh, but that's a streaming territorial. But that just says garden. The other one is the roots. This one. Grown uppers from the floor to wrap themselves. How's the turning disaster? My river covered in soil and plants. But that doesn't make sense though. Tea infusers and two free teaspoons. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Listening to the accent. <laughs> I mean, as far as I'm aware, there's nothing here that says, like, ooh, ground. Seedling. Seedlings are insectoids, has a been burrowing an outdoor. Okay, so that's outdoor. This is definitely inside, so that's that's a no-go. Not a portal, not pipe, not what about a what hmm. not a mirror nymph, obviously. Ba, 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 da. I'm guessing thorns? I don't know what else it could be! I say floor roots. You're squeaking high, you're going to start making noise out of the range of human hearing. <laughs> Making general sounds. Nice. Nice job. Uh oh. Thanks to the info you sent me not being effective in the slightest. But I don't know what it is! This living room plant situation has only gotten worse. Now the floorboards and walls are starting to groan under the weight. Okay. There's something hiding in tall grass by the couch and I don't think it's friendly. Oh god! Oh god! It's moving! Oh! It's moving! Okay, well I didn't have anything for grass growing on a buggy thing. Oh well, what else would it have been? Cellar growth? Cellar grotto. Oh, I, I have no idea what that would have been. Are there some things we just don't have access to yet? Like some that we, we would just fail regardless? I have no clue. Well hello Larry. Something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer. <gasps> and I can hear it making all kinds of it's horrible the stinky noises. Thing. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. <laughs> Please send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. All cases have an answer that's unlocked, huh? Please well, hold. I think it's this guy. Gripping or stretching, seedings, where's the dew? In my basement. I open the basement door, it smells like a damn sewer. Here, it looks like noises. I'm in the basement, leave me alone, Dad. Either that, 
or a grotto. I'm going to sell a grotto's board. Bad smell. Oh, bad smell. Got it. Bad smell. Thank you. Smells like a damn sewer. Bad smell. High humidity. Large beetle frost pests. Sounds like there might be a lot of. Good lord. All kinds of horrible noises. Lots of water. Lots of damage. It's a grotto, my good sir. You have a grotto down there. Very exciting. Give it some gold. I diagnosed you with stank. <laughs> Nice. I, what would that yay? 88%! <laughs> Fantastic. What is that bloody woman's though? I mean, she's dead, so it doesn't really matter. But, but, <laughs> what was hers? We made it to Friday. Travel gnome? Really? What the? The hole is breached. I repeat, the hole is breached. Nice. Anon tipped four pounds and twenty pence. You have an amazing voice, Thema 78 Pet Thema 78 Pet Thema 78 Pet Thema 78 <laughs> Pet Thema 78 Pet. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, bless you. That's very kind of you. Thank you ever so much. 420. Nice. <laughs> so much. Uh, it's here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Okay, Mike. <laughs> Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we need you to come and work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labors will be recognized. The bollocks. Becky again, isn't it? Where's bloody Becky? We go into their Discord. The Discord. They literally just sent you to their Discord. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Do you like Lord of the Rings? Ah, uh, it's all right. I've never watched them like. Cons Ooh, was that person here? I swear that wasn't here before. Even for that, I'm being cray cray. I've eaten breakfast and had secured a bottle of water. Swear this wasn't here before. Mmm, stinky. It's Friday. I can't even look forward to the weekend. <laughs> wow. Please clock in. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the job thing. Work, 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 work. Must be gonna work, 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 work. Get out of the phone call, 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 call. I am gonna work. Hello, is it my boss? She normally calls me this time. All right, love. Hello. Super Hello. Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. Yeah, well, you're a bloody skinwalker, aren't you? You're a bloody... Mm. She looks like she wants to sound... What is... That is a no. Thank you. Animation. A miniature humanoid figure such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. A home owners of animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night and missing or stolen household objects. Does someone in chat turn me into egg? So I'm egg. It, it just happens. <laughs> I 
cat just likes to egg me sometimes. Let's unalive her. I think we might have to. Animations are usually but not directly dangerous to humans and do look at all them entirely as they go about their business. But their presence in a household may indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. Most animations will depart and collapse after their own. Ooh, after completing to hydrate to go for my foodie woody. Don't you start. <laughs> completing their intended functions. And no further action is needed. If an animation persists for more than a few days in a single location, it may be a sign of more dangerous. Okay, so if there's more, if that happens for more than a couple of days. A closet labyrinth? Excuse me. Why am I in jail? What have I done to Hello, deserve governor. this? Don't you hello governor me, dear. Hello, governor. What do you think you're doing? <sighs> closet labyrinths are large twisting networks of tunnels that are known to occasionally appear inside the closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners or left behind in homes once owned by the wealthy. Homeowners with closet labyrinths will often report missing clothes or the sound of distant cries come from their closet. They are incredibly easy to get lost in by design and prove especially hazardous to homeowners carrying valuable items such as gold, silk or rare spices. They are otherwise harmless to those who do not enter their domain. If discovered, it is advised to lock or blockade the entrance to prevent accidental entry and diminish the lure of the labyrinth's hidden riches. If it is absolutely vital a closet labyrinth be removed, it is advised you to utilize our service. For crimes against egg, you always deserve jail time. What do you mean I always deserve jail time? If anything, you do. Guys. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. No. Oh, no, no, no. Dear, I'm not doing motivations at the moment. Go away. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I almost read it as a dream Wesker. <laughs> a dream Wesker is what I initially read it as. <laughs> dream weavers are large, nope like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. They are also known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. <gasps> They will only move into a household if no other nopes are present. Dream weavers are of parasitic in nature and feed off the dreams in humans while they sleep. While this does not cause any direct harm, it can lead to increased anxiety and the larger webs they weave can trap dust, pets and children, causing further complications. Dream Wesker. <laughs> to remove a dream weaver, homeowners should refrain from sleeping as long as possible in order to starve the creature and encourage it to fall home. They would often attempt to induce sleep by ensnaring the homeowners and injecting them with a sleep-inducing venom. Do not let them do this. Do you think bloody not? Oh, F that. Alright, love. Well, hello, Patrice. Oh, one of those. Alright, go on. Okay, I, I will let you know. Well, I don't know whether there's a tree in your shed, but okay. Please hold. hold. So what is this? As I was just about to read. Negative assemble corner house plants. They are known to take root in indoor potted plants, disguising themselves among flowers. They report faint singing. The harmless of left alone. Fuck that. But if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will often lash out by spraying a toxic chemical known as water blindness and loss of sight. Now the main problem area is up here. All of this going <laughs> this on up lady, here yeah, is absolutely. what's causing the most physical discomfort. Water directly, try not to notice their presence, ignore their singing. Okay. Who holds? Ah! <laughs> Babies! Dog-like faces that are known to burrow into dark rooms or storage closet to make them their home. 
Home winners and festive kobolds will sometimes report broken food. They're harmless to humans until they're discovered, at which point they will often lash out violently to protect their home, causing injury or even death. If discovered, kobolds will attempt to lure humans to their space by poking their dog-like heads out from behind corners and whimpering. <gasps> Do not enter a kobold's domain. One should not attempt to remove a kobold. It's strongly advised to hire professionals. Brain nymph. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I like that. A subspecies of nymphs that are most active during rainstorms. Their faint humanoids have glow in their eyes and often appear near windows or doors, asking to be let in. Affected with nymphs often report flooding. The floods rain nymphs cause can lead to water damage, can be costly and dangerous. They are very preventable, and that they're pleased to be let inside can be simply ignored. It's a device to stay away from the doors and windows during rainstorm. Ooh. Soap Sprite? Well, that's adorable! They are subspecies of Sprite that are known for consuming bacteria and harmful microbes. They frequently occupy bathrooms, appearing similar to pink bars of soap in order to feed off the hands that they use them. Ah! They secrete a sub-like substance that is used to digest their meals. That's just a crab? That's not a crab. What kind of crabs have you been finding? Despite the bacteria-eating lifestyle, frequently known to spread diseases, such as the Fey Flu. <gasps> no! Making them a hazard. Dispose of by tongs and grabbing other grabbing utensils. Identifying the sprites can be difficult. Do not keep any bars of soap in the house. The sprig tree. Oh, here we go. The sprig trees are rapidly growing trees that take root in a human body. Oh, hang on. They are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be caused by the touch of a spriggan. Spriggan needs nuts. <laughs> they are incredibly deadly to those infected and result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree while it's growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death. There is no cure for a sprig tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while others occupying the house should vacate the premises immediately. Do not touch the infected or the black substance that leaks from them. It is! It is! This is this is the thing! Begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral service as needed. So your sprig tree. Your son's been eaten by a sprig tree, I'm afraid. Oh dear. Well that's not very good. How unfortunate. Sprig vines are rapidly growing vines that are known to consume a house and block off exits. They're often a sign a spriggan has been provoked. Sprig vines are not dangerous on their own and can be cut through with common gardening tools. However, their tendency to block exits can create struggles when needing to exit the house in a hurry, such in the case of floods or fires or a spriggan in pursuit. Sprig vines will continue to grow so long as the spriggan that has made them desires it. Is a device to vacate and rehome. So that's the house that was like for 12,000. That's why it was so cheap. Oh, this is so cool how everything fits together. A trash canal. Okay, looks kind of cute though. There are subspecies of gnome with thick brownish gray fur, frog like eyes, and large gaping mouths. They are known to seek out trash receptacles and burrow inside of them for both food and shelter. The homeowners with trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs and finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped garbage cans and loud crunching sounds. Trash gnomes are highly territorial. Their bite is not fatal, but it can lead to inconsistent and inconvenient and painful circumstances, such as the loss of a finger or nose, while attempting to discard trash or remove a trash bag from the receptacle. 
They are also capable of spreading deadly diseases such as rabies or shatten. It's basically a, a raccoon, but not. Recommended not to let trash in the home be idle for more than a day or two. Their noses are highly sensitive to the smell. To remove a trash known permanently, it's highly advised to use our pest removal set. Okay, well, this lady's son got eaten by a tree. So, sorry about that, love. Um, big tree. There you go. At least, you know, he's forever growing with you, I suppose. <laughs> And a good morning to you, Paradox. How are you doing? Oh, one second. We got a call. Well, hello, Robert. Hey, I called last week about some noises in uh -oh. my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, uh -oh. they still seem to be happening. Uh oh. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever. But the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Flattering in the kitchen. Okay. No droppings. Place is spotless. Please hold. Clattering in the kitchen. A laundry gnome. Um, clattering in the kitchen. Oh, tea sprite! It could be a tea sprite. Oh no, he said no droppings. Okay, no droppings. Not a tea sprite. About a trash canoe! No. A travel gnome. Oh, yeah! Great expansive gardens inside the new homes. Oh, no! I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Arukar, thank you so much for the follow. So much. Wish with follow and welcome him. Pattering in the kitchen. Oh, a wine sprite, perhaps. What is a 22 minutes, 50 years. Kitchen. I take the marine side drop into place looks spotless. No, because then there would be broken gubbins. No. Ah, I don't know. Um, raccoon. Did they poop? I pop. Ah! No, so they will commonly emerge from the home and I consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area. Much smaller than the most, they'll commonly emerge from the home. Battering. Okay, it's definitely some kind of hob. It could be a pipe hob. In the kitchen. What do you reckon? No, we haven't got anything that's in the bedroom yet. But this is kitchen. No, it's in my structures. Uh, I already told you guys happening. A short story is every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning I have a look, but it's spotless. I'm guessing it's a hob. <gasps> Dynamite! 
right, hello. I think it's a pie pop. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. How are you doing? And Dwagonite, thank you so much for the raid. How are you? And what's your stream? What did you get up to? The place looks spotless. Happens at night, clattering. It's definitely some kind of hob. It's either this hob or like a normal hob. Where's the common hob? I know you've been here for a while, but you've been streaming though. How do I know which hob is what? Either this one or the pipe one. I need your help. I need your help. Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening. You think but, that uh, was defined as clatter? That every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? She said, that one's got a clattering. This one... But that sounds like clattering as well! That bit, that bit sounds like clattering. You. That's what I mean. So it's either that one or this one. <laughs> he said kitchen, it sounds like crockery. This one just says in the surrounding area. Whereas this one specifically says... Dishes. Small human-like creatures are grey bird-like skin, vertical tufts. They have no false face. Their tendency to consume dirt, dust, and cotton sticky. They only come out at night. They around floors and dishes, cleaning them in the progress. Whereas the pipey boy... Known for making homes inside tubes, such as pipes. They bear no false malice, blah blah blah. Much smaller than most hobs, they'll commonly emerge from the home at night to consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding area, cleaning in the process. <sighs> ah, we're stuck between. This is ridiculous! Dishes, ridiculous? Well, that's what I'm thinking. It says specifically dishes. That's what you'd think in the kitchen. But you'd also think of the kitchen sink, don't you? It's scared we're stuck. We don't know what, what hob it is. Shall we say common? Everything but the kitchen. <laughs> common hop? Well, well, let's sort it. Let's just go common hop. <laughs> That's 
war etwa genau jetzt. Okay. Okay, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Yes, hi. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services. Okay. Not a week later, I'm still getting break-in. Okay. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. <gasps> the flowers. Some insane serial killer, for all we know. All they do is sing at night, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms even went off. Okay, well that's because they're just flowers, my lovely. They're, they're singing flowers. You are, see? Singing. Have you told her to keep off the dirigible plums? <laughs> Slender creatures vaguely resemble common house plants. They're known to take root in indoor potted plants, which is greenhouse, indoor, kind of. And often report faint singing. Because this doesn't sing. The other ones don't sing. Nothing else sings but that one. false flower. It's gotta be. That's the only thing that sings here. Why did not these people just buy normal houses? <laughs> it's a false flower. Just ignore it. It's fine. It's just a little singing thing. I hate this animation one though. <laughs> uh oh. Don't be dead. Oh no! Go away! I've got to Dumbbells that I bought from you. You're a dumbbell. Spit shine, know what I mean? I mean, these bells have got all kinds of grit, grime, grease. Can't that even see boyfriend. my face uh -huh. when I'm deadlifting, know what I mean? Can't get a boyfriend. I mean, I'm looking Ooh, at these bells charming. right now here. I'm sure you're in my mic's head. Uh, spit, crud, kind of you. Your Australian veggie might have. Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now, easy there. Get away. Get away. Well, that was horrifying. Not that anyone probably heard it because you were speaking over it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> See what happens when you mention boyfriends? Exactly! Well, that was horrendous. I hated that. Hello, Paradox. How are you? I've got Marmite toast. Wow. It's the rats. It's the mice. It's the mice. The mice are too clever. Nom nom. I've never had Vegemite, so I can't tell. But a Marmite is pretty good for me, so. Nom nom. What a meeting. Uh-oh. Hello, Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. Yep. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Thanks. Keep up the good work, employee. Well, thank you. You may be an allergic horror, but you know what they say, better the devil you know. I'd rather have you on my side and get rid of other horrors. Thank you. Very much appreciated, Carol. What if... Oh, I don't know. Ah, I love this game. This is so fun. Mmm. Yeah. Very uncanny, Stoppo. Oh no. <laughs> there's, there's some kind of insect in my house, and I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this big, nasty thing fly in through the window, and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but 
I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house. Lamp. Can someone come find this thing and get it out of my house? Please hold. I think it's the lumpy boy. This one. The head smells like burning. Lamp. I know my lamp sprites. Thank you. I know lamp. Oh. Lamp. Postman's here. Postman. Question is, will he set off the dogs today? We have a small walk. Tendrils. <coughs> Don't meow me. Tendrils. <coughs> he watched too much anime. <laughs> Maybe the roots. Da -da -da. What's your best D's nuts joke? I, I don't really have any, sorry. Chat with though. Chat is very good at D's nuts jokes. I'm horrendous at them. I can't take you seriously when you hear you crunching Marmite toast. What do you mean? It's Marmite. Why? What's wrong with it? Hi, Shaddy. Oh. I'm going to say Florius. It's tendrils. Huh? Oh. What else would it be? <laughs> Morph tends to make these nasty jokes in this film. <laughs> I do, to be fair. <laughs> oh, what about? No, it must, it must be the roots. I suppose because the puppet's not. I'm gonna go roots. He says tendrils. This is the only thing with tendrils. The spooky bog fairies are scaring the dog again. <laughs> Regardless, mate, your daughter is buggered. I'm so sorry. All roots. Sorry, your daughter's dead. Next call. Ow. It's probably just the raccoons. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the sky roots. <laughs> what? Yes, nothing can be done. <laughs> ah. Me. I'm gone! Help me! Help get me back, please! He's old. Please hold. <laughs> I love that. Help me! Please hold. Uh, it's gonna be the, the, um, the mirror thing. Where's it? Mirror nymph. 
Mirror nymphs are subspecies of nymphs that are known for stealing the likeness of homeowners and passerbys. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror that they beckon others to look into. Homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own face, although a nuisance are not a direct danger. They will wander into different locations provided by nobody looking into their mirror. Affected homeowners can restore their likeness by catching the mirror nymph and breaking it with an iron implement. Thank you for the five street streak! Thank you very much! Now go and chase a mirror thing with this lady. Uh. Ah, no face. That's the horde. What what has happened? Why did that magic sound to go off? Who do you have to yell at? Who am I yelling at? I will yell at you. <gasps> BJ! What have you done? <gasps> no! Oh my lord, thank you so much! Meme J just bought something I've wanted for so long. <laughs> Meme J, thank you so much for the Fortnum's tea bag collection. Oh my word. I am genuinely touched by that. Tea time in it, bro. Fuck's sake. Yeah, good luck with the exchange rate. That's very true. Bless your little cotton. Thank you so much. I'm incredibly... And thank you to tech as well. Oh, I'm going to have so much tea. Oh, I'm so excited. It was my Fortnum and Mason, which is a very posh tea brand. Well, it's a very posh brand in general. Like a luxury brand. Um... <laughs> But they do the best tea, in my opinion. The absolute best tea. Famous tea bag selection. 120 tea. <laughs> now I have even more tea. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Mum's going to be so happy about that as well, because she loves it as well. Thank you so much. That's an awful lot of money as well. Oh, I'm in shock. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a lot of money. I can tell, I can assure you it's going to be thoroughly enjoyed. Absolutely thoroughly enjoyed. Well, I, I don't like to read it out, but Ford and Mason tea is incredibly expensive. <laughs> it's, it says here that the conversion rate has changed it to $80. 120 tea bags. <laughs> the puns in the message were worth the exchange rate. <laughs> it says there's no message though. Why do I why am I not getting messages? What was the message? Ian, thank you so much. And Tech, thank you so much as well. I don't know what tea you've got me though, Tech, because it's a mystery. <laughs> Only the sound. Yeah, I don't know why there's the, the thing. I'm having a trouble receiving messages on throne at the, mo uh, at the moment, and I don't know why. Which is a big, big sucky. I might have to put a ticket in, because this isn't the first time this has happened either. 
But thank you. Oh, gosh. No, 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 dear, as in, um, messages aren't being sent. Because if I go onto my throne, it says you've received a gift from a person. Gift. There's the gift, obviously. And then it says message. All of my messages just say blank. Yeah, I have all of my messages just say the fan has left no message. <laughs> I am still eating the toast! I'm not going to be really talk of the mouthful, am I? <laughs> His qualities for a beautiful. Ah! Oh! I'm dead. You've got me. You win. Qualities for a beautiful. Oh, meme. How much mal, mate? You got to go the toes. A good layer. A good layer. Fucking quality, mate. No, I'm not used to having my mouth full, dear. So, no, that. No, we're just gonna move on. Because I know what you're like. Uh, it, it's the laundry. Uh, not the laundry heat. The big thing. Ah, uh, the hoard. The hoard! The hoard! This one. Dirty needles and metal scraps. The hoard! Right, so. Is it the hoard or is it just hoard? Nom nom. There it is. Thanks for adding that as a quote. Gee whiz. Marmite and bagels. Oh, so good. Let me lose. Oh, oh, ah, I'm looking at tea. Tag that looks lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, I've been bloody spoiled. What is it, Maple? Yeah, Wait, Maple, what are you calling me? Security camera I can purchase from you guys. For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Someone keeps mm. flashing mm. these bright lights mm. through mm. windows at night, night but things. I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. I want to catch them on camera. Top 10 coolest busts. And it's not my nut. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... The, is it the the whiz this one? Yeah. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> These ones. Bright lights. anything suspicious at all oh my lord what oh hey patty hey, uh, so i think i found some kind of door <gasps> i feel Portal. like maybe i should step through it no don't do it yeah i think i think i need to go inside no the wind feels so nice i mean it probably does but i don't know how you'd get back please hold Please hold, you have a portal. Uh, don't, don't step through the portal. I mean, it might be a better place, actually. Who am I to tell you not to go through a portal if it's nice and sunny? Like my pops taught me, you can't trust anyone with feelers. <gasps> you take that back! Step through the portal at your own discretion. Could lead to somewhere nice, I don't know. She's going to Narnia. <laughs> the portals are the poor man's is a guy. <laughs> the poor man's is a guy. <laughs> what kind of statement is that? 
Oh, wow. Sorry, I've just looked at one of my plants and it's budding. Last plant mama. Of course, Ted. Go for it. Thank you. Jules, that does not match you. I went into the bathroom Oof. in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink. Oh, it's, it's, the, like, it's the soap uh, boy. Like tendrils or like tendrils or, you know, whatever. But when I turned on the lights, nothing was there. Bruh. I checked under the towel, like under, you know, like that little soap thing Bruh. and everything. But I know it's somewhere. Like it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still got it. Hiding in here. Okay, well you have a soapy boy. That's okay. He's just gonna eat your hands. Please hold. He's gonna eat your hands. Soup spray. That's the one. Oh, oh, mother, mother, mother. Look at this. Look what's just been uh, gifted to us by Meme J. Oh, I love you. <laughs> And me. Tech has got us some tea bags as well. Oh wow, I love you too, Tech. Thank you for knowing me. That's very, very kind of you. I know. Wow. I Thank know. you very much. We'll break them together and make slurpy noises. <laughs> what? Very kind. No, Thank you. Say hello. You like your, your toast? Yes, I do. Thank you. Your, your marmite. I did. Thank you. Um, I imagine Moth Mom is a hive queen. <laughs> yes, bitch. Um, yeah, no, we will enjoy the tea, but we won't sit there and make slurpy noises together. Thank you very much. But I will let you know how each one tastes after I have one. Yes. I have to make slurpy noise. How you taste tea? <laughs> with wine. I'm trying to talk to them for a couple of minutes till I get myself a cup of tea, actually. You haven't. It's the loo I can talk to. Well, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea so you can talk to them for a couple of seconds. If so. they want to ask any questions, they okay. can ask away. I'm not putting the headphones on. You don't need to put the headphones on. I have to tap slowly because I can't. They all get scared of me anyway. They don't get scared of you. Okay, I will be back in a second. You are in the. You are there. Hang on, let me leave a message. You are talking. My mum. E good. Come up, VRB. Okay. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. Everyone's there. Okay. I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea, guys. I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, I get to sit on the big chair. Oh, oh, it's got wheels. <laughs> I nearly went the flying. Ah. Ah. Oh dear. Don't stick me old people on chairs with wheels. Oh my gosh. Right, hello everybody. Secret school story. Well, <laughs> she barely went. Uh, how messy is your daughter's desk? Uh, it's not too bad, but there is a empty bottle of gin on it. There's lots of uh, Tsunamiko and Piplup toys on it. There's uh, uh, candles, llamas. She's got a purple keyboard. Uh, let's have a look. She, child must be back. She is a very unique child, shall we say. She was never really a child. She was always precocious and uh, best at everything and uh, had a lot of friends when she was little. She was always the centre of attention. Like I said before, she used to go to stage school at the weekend, so that, that says it all, really. Um, definitely soon to be empty. You know what she's like. Piplup, yeah, she's got a Piplup light. Got it for Christmas. 
Nah, I don't pick love on Hatsune Miku. So, uh, if you went to see Hatsune Miku concert, we pay a lot of money to go and watch a it, for fuck's sake. hologram or something. Wants to go to Japan and get all this stuff uh, spaced, but leave the room first. Um, yeah, she definitely was a theatre moth. She's in lots of productions, don't you know? At one point she was uh, looking into going to Brit school, but uh, we decided that uh, dancing wasn't really her strong point. She did ballet as a child. She's more of a singer, which you probably get sometimes. Singer and drama. Amage, you in theatre too, loved it for sure. Yeah, it's good. Oh, ad break, I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, she did some ballet competitions and things like that, but she's definitely more of a, more of a singer. <laughs> As I said before, she was uh, the main role of Mulan in her school play. And, uh, Starred on the stage in Joseph and the Technicolor Dream Cove as one of the awful choir brats. Well, like I said, she didn't really go to school much. Dragon Knight. She went to school up until about the age of 14 and then sort of uh, it went a bit wrong, so we, we homeschooled. Uh, yes, not a delinquent, no, she was, um, what's the word? Too clever for her own good, and everyone else was a bit stupid and decided that we could homeschool better than the teachers. Especially in English schools. If I had the money to send her privately, I would have done. Uh, and no, not, not a delinquent, more of a brainiac. Old for her time. Remember, they used to say that she was like a little Victorian old lady. Why be calling me an old lady? Because you were a little, uh, little old lady Victorian rather than a teenager. <laughs> well, that's true, but <laughs> you don't need to call me out like that. Favorite cake or dessert? Well, I like apple pie. Well, I know you like apple. Um, I like lemon drizzle. You, where well, everybody likes lemon drizzle, but she does like what was it? Those toffee sponge things. Oh, I love a stick. Sticky toffee pudding, yes. <laughs> Apple pies. Are... Under the roofs, not getting nasty at the fussy bar. That's the sort of thing she would actually do. Climb onto roofs and go yeah, laughing at past. That's about her life. I mean, her life is, you know. <laughs> what crazy is on my bed? Never more. You know that Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. That was her basically that was her bedroom that was her life so she was basically wednesday there i was where it was i got bullied the crap out of it <laughs> yeah and she got bullied for being more or less like wednesday she was very uh, her favorite band at the time was my chemical romance <laughs> so i think that says it all oh obviously me gosh don't be so silly I love you, Lottie, don't you? Lottie dog! Anyway, I better go because she's back. So, um. Olix, yes. Nice chocolate cake. Oh. Sticky toffee pudding any day! When you go to America and they give you like a whole slab of cake. Like that. The whole... Oh my gosh. Well, apple pie and uh, chocolate cake in America all comes with squirty cream. Oh. Is a proper slice of cake. Like, what's that film? Matilda. They get the, they get the big chocolatey cake. That's like a normal slice in America. I would love to go back to America and eat all your desserts, but uh, I probably won't get back to America now. I'm too old. And I don't think I could do the uh, travel anymore, fortunately soft drink section of the sweet shop. Oh my gosh, we didn't have sweet shops. Uh, I'll... 
Oh, that's telling me to piss off, isn't it? Look, have a good day, Moth Mother Fine. I've gone now, then. <laughs> Whatever. Alan Bennett vibes from said yes. I hope you didn't say anything too weird. Great, thanks. Love that. Call me! <laughs> Hello. Get out, I'm not flirt with a moth mother. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm back. Cup of tea, you know what I feel How's Moth Mom? Was she alright? She treats you well? Look after you? No, I hope so. I did a hydrate, but she didn't hydrate. She has a cup of tea as well, so I'm pretty sure she's going to have a sip of her tea. Your mother has given us blackmail. Oh lord, I hope not. Chatting to mum was wild. Oh great, what does she do this time? Uh, Soap's right. <laughs> go back to the game, go back to the game. Back to the game, go back to the game, go back to the game. That's right. Do you still do- <laughs> I used to do ballet! I used to. I'm very good at point- No! <sighs> Thank you, Moth Mom, for raising the best kind of wins. I'll stop it. It. Yes, I used to do ballet. I very much enjoyed it. And I'm good at pointing my toes. That's very true. PA over the All that jazz. If I ever get to meet you at Twitch Corner, I'd be sure to bring some lemon drizzle or apple pie. <gasps> oh. Oh, don't. There's an easy way to win me over, you know. I can't tell their accents apart. I heard you liked singing moth karaoke, but you don't want more karaoke. Look how horrible it went last time. So you said you're a better singer than dancer. That's true. I'm abhorrent at dancing. I blame my bendy bones. <laughs> I go, I go, I. How are you doing, Stormy Serenade? How are you doing? Look at that. Bosh, clock out. I had to put some gloves on. It's freezing. And like I said, we've got no hot water at the moment. Or heating, because our boilers decided to do a die. So, because it's the weekend, Ooh. they're like, Ugh, we'll get to you eventually. Ah, uh, that person's definitely getting closer. Moth dancing. Basically, basically. Very tired. I work at 3 a.m. How about you? Oh, no. Well, I hope you managed to get some good good rest later. I'm doing well, thank you. Enjoying this game very much so, and enjoying your company. 7am? Oh, it's very early for you. Hey, we're good in another video. Go. Thunder Peak. What? The Great American Hikes! Oh yeah! Gonna see some Wendigos. Some Yetis. Some Skinwalkers. The Mothman! And 30 pm in Australia, Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. In this guide, we'll show you how you can be the best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. That's just a computer hop. I mean, ask the screen person to go away. I should do really, shouldn't I? The pies. As with any hiking trail, y'all want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Hello, Water Chocolate! How are you? Or I do you chocolate. <laughs> or Gerrit, how are you? Make sure to bring some hiking boots. Or water bottle. Scoot, thank you so much. You take care. Sleep well. An iron sword. A wash. Some climbing gloves. 
Thank you for the love, Scoot. Do take care of yourself. I hope you have a lovely sleep. Appreciate you much. If you don't have access to all these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. I appreciate each and every one of you. The trail. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting of mostly of swishbacks, leading through a natural cave and finally up a short climb to its pristine peak. <laughs> Pace yourself with your progress. This is both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. Very pretty. Be sure to stop and read the signs along the trail. Ah, no, I want to read it. I want to read it. Since the early 1900s, the Something Something Cave System has been a favorite place for people to visit something. As a result, the caves have been equipped with the electricity and something accessible for guided tours. Be careful, some caves are hidden, if ever, blah blah blah, follow the tracks. Okay, don't go cave diving like this crazy man. I already took a nap when I'm here, so now you can pick what I eat. Meat or meat? Have some meat. I see you're alive and the second I collect you ended- Oh no, I'm sorry! It'd be like that. Tim Panongo's cave. When y'all see a red yellow light, that means you're in a high rock pool area. Please travel with caution. Look out for those rocks. Once you've been in the quiet zone, remain completely silent. Ooh. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. What? Give the head pads. Enter the cave. Oh, this is so cool. I love this whole aesthetic and like idea. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Damn, showing his dogs for free? Hey! Follow the lights and do not stray. In America, this is hiking. In Britain, it's going home. <laughs> you bastard. If you hear the sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. Bro, unequipped his armor. Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. The breath of fresh air seeing Faye used properly. Mmm, a hundred percent. You made it! Now enjoy the view! In my day, we had to go through the death cave to make it to school. <laughs> In my day, I had to bring an iron sword on my journey. You kids don't know how lucky you are! <laughs> That's cool, I like that. I, I don't like you though! You've got mail. This address is no longer active. Hello. If you're receiving this email, it's because you've been emailed by this address before. The employee of this address registered is no longer employed here. As of... both the 30th, that's tomorrow. The address will be shut down and no longer able to send or receive. If you still need help, please email us. Congratulations, employee! Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today a daily coupon. Today's coupon is for Hag Hide! Source so cruelty free from the parish and treated with a flower scented formula. These are the best quality Hag Hides you'll find. This month only, we'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed in the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. 
To receive your discount, simply type the promo code during your online checkout. Haggling for deals. <laughs> so good. Keep up the great work. Oh, look at that. This is so cool. I love this. I can't <gasps> believe you've done this. Ninja, thank you for the follow. So much. Yeah, Dragonite, there's not a lot to see. It pretty much starts with, welcome to the corporate. Ignore any videos you find on the system. And then we get a, this, these like, quit before it's too late. You don't know how what's happening. Quit. Leave. The hole. I live in a hole. You might have some network errors. Here's a coupon for a used horseshoe. We have a new office pet, Mr. Whiskers. They're trying to keep away the mice. Uh, someone found my hole. And then I have to work Saturday and Sunday. That's about it. You passed the vibe jet. Thank you! Make sure to vibe check yourself. Are you vibing? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, you smell like you got some good vibes. <coughs> no, no, no. They employed a cat to get the mice. I think the mice are actually transforming into people. I think that's where the problem lies. Excuse you, I have boy smell. Fucking it. That's never a good sign, is it? And someone in a yellow tabard just runs past you. <laughs> oh well. Wait for the bus to call. What are you going to say today? Thank you for working at the weekend. You're valued. And so is your eyeballs. We'll take them when you're done with them. Okay. Ah. Uh. Ah! Bloody hell! Every bloody time! Absolute sword. Park employee. Park! 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 Okay. Carol here again. Hi, Carol. I've updated thy permissions to grant thee access to all relevant household oh, hazards information. Oh, thank you, Jolly. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Uh. Prepare thy body. Ah. Uh. You know, I'm good, thanks. I'm good for a little bit. I, I don't... Oh. I don't want to prepare my body for the soil, but okay. What have we got? Let's start from the bottom. A warlock remnant. Carol used to be employed at the Prime Minister's office. <laughs> a warlock remnants are residual presence often left behind by former warlocks, most commonly inhabiting old households, castles, or underground dwellings. The homeowners experiencing warlock remnants should often report objects moving on their own, the sound of hostile warning whispers, or sighted bearding, fi bearding figures, <clears throat> bearded figures, and reflective surfaces. While a hostile presence, a mere echo of their former selves, and are generally harmless. Their ability to manipulate smaller household objects can prove hazardous to less cautious homeowners, however. I mean, how does one prepare for that? Thank you, Cloud Breather. Exactly. <laughs> homeowners can purge the remnant from the home with the use of a sealy stone. But the journey to retrieve one is both long and perilous, and is not recommended. If a warlock remnant proves sufficiently hazardous, it is recommended to simply relocate. <gasps> troll? Oh, that looks like a good troll. Trolls are giant, 12 foot tall nocturnal creatures that normally are not seen in the home. However, during the winter, they will deflate their bodies in order to fit inside homes and steal warm materials, such as blankets or articles of clothing. This is the bitch in that. Homeowners infested with a troll will frequently report missing clothes or claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escape in the middle of the night. Danger. Trolls are very dangerous to humans when startled, thanks to the ability to inflate their bodies to their full height of 12 feet in a matter of seconds. Their skin, despite its flexibility, is incredibly durable and will smash through the ceilings on most homes when inflated, causing property damage and injury to anyone. Do not ever approach a troll. An active troll will leave by morning once it has secured its bounty. It is recommended to install repelling fixtures such as UV lights to prevent future break in. I'm listening! 
listening to trolls? What? Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. Cellar? Down there, because I can yeah. hear it around sometimes when the house is quiet. Yeah. Tell me, what to do to get rid of this thing? Because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. <gasps> what? a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. It's a wine sprite. Wine sprite. Wine sprite. Please hold, because I want to read what a spriggan is. What is a spriggan? Oh. These are the guys that make all the scary twigs. American accent redeemed when. Never. The Spriggans are small green humanoids with leaf life coatings on their bodies. They are seen rarely in households and reside primarily inside trees. They are known to act violently upon homeowners when provoked, however. Homeowners affected by Spriggans commonly report a rapid grind both around their homes and the feelings the trees are watching them. Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked. And physical contact with one would have resulted in the I can't believe you've done this. In a sprig tree with the affected individual. Cloud breather, <laughs> thank you for the follow. Bro. Thank you very sake. much. And Nora, thank you for the hydrate. I'll take a sip of my tea right now for you. Mm -hmm. I'll sip, sip, sip. Spriggans cannot be persuaded to leave the home once provoked. However, one can take precautions to prevent pro provoking a spriggan. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within the view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night, left in a clean dish on your porch. Okay. Reanimation. Now we're talking. Oh yeah, look at that. Reanimations are any deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Homeowners for reanimators commonly report foul smells, soil being tracked inside of their home, and large holes in the ground appearing near or around them. Reanimations are capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous diseases and parasites deadly to humans, so close proximity or contact should be avoided. They are also commonly used to inflict direct violence against homeowners that are incredibly adept at hiding and waiting for money. Reanimation's pursuit is slow but relentless, so relocation is not necessary or advisable. It is advised to contact any friends, neighbours or strangers the homeowner may have recently slighted and make a piece of bargain. Hmm. What is a puka? Oh my lord, it's a dog! What's the dog doing? Pukas are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape of likeness of a household pet. They are known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Oh! Homeowners of pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behaviour. Where's Lottie? They're relatively harmless, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave can create other pests and disease hazards. A foul smell signifies decay, and the discarded body should be found and removed immediately. Oh no! Pookas can be discouraged to leave a home by not drawing attention to their activities. Pookas thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners. They refrain from screaming or yelling when surprised by them, and make attempts to ignore their presence. That is horrible! Oh, I hate that! Yeah, to be fair, no one can impersonate my Lottie. Is this 911? I'd like to report a theft? Of course, comedy, what's up? I watch my roommate sleep all the time. <laughs> nice. Do you take pictures of them as well? That way it lasts longer. A moth lady on the internet stole my heart. But I wonder who that could be. There's plenty of beautiful moss in here.
famous doorway is a door frame like structure that they can often appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion to step through, as well as pararealism. A neighbor's doorway do not cause direct harm, but if stepped through, the resulting paralysis would often result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. A neighbor's doorways are tricked to remove by accidentally putting one's own body through them, and potentially triggering the activity. It is advised to use our doorway removal service. <laughs> uh, one can prevent doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for eternity. I've passed. All of the lights. Oh, that's such a nice idea. Hello, police. There's a moth in my house, and she has a knife. <laughs> no, no, comedy fan. You, you have your heart, lovely. You will be able to type otherwise. Nice try, though. <gasps> I could have said it the way, but I'm not doing an accent. A leprechaun. Leprechauns are small humanoids covered in long brown hair that are known for consuming common household valuables such as jewellery, silverware, and other precious metals. In addition to being a household nuisance, a leprechaun's appetite for precious metals can also cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces, and other common appliances if they are not properly protected. Additionally, leprechauns can occasionally cause direct harm in humans in cases where homeowners have metallic medical implants, <gasps> such as braces, crowns, or joint replacements. Leprechauns will move on to other feeding grounds once their own space has run out of food, but a more proactive means require physical capture. If immediate removal is desired, use a professional pest control. Leprechauns are creepy. I hate leprechauns. Absolutely hate them. Have you recently seen additional charges for lightbulbs, flashlines, and lava lamps in your Amazon account? You may have a moth infestation. <laughs> you can never have enough lava lamps. Don't know what you're on about. No, comedy, don't die. Don't be dramatic. I hate leprechauns. Uh, what else? A Dorsha or a Dorcha? Dorsha is the one who delivers. Right, okay, so it's DoorDash, got it. Homeowners experiencing Dorsha commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of a great lurking shadow. Dorsha will deliver that which it seeks. There is no coming back from deliverance. Dorsha is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek. To be sought by Dorsha is to be found by Dorsha. If you or a loved one are sought by Dorsha, it is advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance. Oh my lord! Well, that sounds horrendous. Don't be dramatic, Moth. Mom said you did theatre. We were not. Oh! Oh, stop it. <gasps> hey, Dream Demon, how are you? The daughter is otherwise harmless. Bear tag? Same. Yeah, no thanks. Bed hags are large humanoid creatures of elderly woman like appearance. They are known to dwell beneath beds, hammocks, and other suspended sleeping apparatus. The homeowners infested with bed hags will sometimes report croaking or wheezing sounds at night, with a feeling of a heavy weight on their chest at night. You play it backwards, it's just mum snoring. <laughs> Dramatically perishes to a bog. Help, 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 oh, wait, this is. Bed hags are not dangerous to most healthy human adults, but small children and humans suffering from breathing problems such as asthma may be adversely affected by their presence. Bed hags are known to steal the breath of their sleeping subjects at night, causing a shortage of breath and sometimes sleep paralysis. It can be sometimes be beneficial to a home, as their presence can frighten off other pests such as various insects or mice. In the cases where a bed hag is undesirable, use our pest removal service. They sleep snog you. It's basically paralysis and sleep apnea and oh yeah, oh I don't like that. Autumn vines. Oh, they're so pretty! Autumn vines are vines of orange or red leaves that are known to slowly grow over a house, frequently during fall. 
Homeowners with autumn vines often report feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. The pheromones they release in the air, while not toxic, can cause household accidents thanks to their blissful, dizzying effects. To remove the vines from a household, locate where the initial growth is coming from by inspecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent vine. Pull this vine out by the roots and burn it. Prevent autumn vine growth by making regular offerings of insects or meek substance to the ones beneath the soil. Who are these guys? The ones beneath the soil. That's so cool. Well, this lady has the wine sprite. Um, it, it sips our wine, basically. Wine sprite. Love it. We're going to pause and wait for ad people. Ad people, people in ads, that's okay. Everything's expensive nowadays. Ad people, I appreciate you. And sticking around if that's what you do. do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Time in it, bro. For fuck's sake. Da, 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 da. <gasps> Churchill Corgi is number seven combo. Hello, welcome back. How are you? I remember you. He has such a brilliant name. Thank you for the hydrate. I hope you're doing well. He ran outside my window. The ad started and abruptly ended. Oh, very nice. Lucky. It's a tea ad. <laughs> See your nose. 20 seconds. Thank you. There is a van parked right outside my window. Thanks for that, mate. Appreciate it. Welcome back from Adland. I waited for you. It's not a black van, it's a white van. Okay. Who's next? A white van's even worse. A white panel van. <laughs> it's like a white builder's van. The van has home safety in it. <laughs> I don't know, it's jiggling an awful lot. I don't know what he's doing in there. I don't know if I want to know, to be honest. Ah, 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 I knew it. I knew it. I was expecting this. Hello, Gavna. Hello, Gavna. Uh, I, I think something may have died inside my desk. It stinks to high heavens and something is leaking out of it. <laughs> I had to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Desk slime! Wood slime, whatever it's called, that one. These old. This one, wood secretion. I don't like saying the word secretion, it's weird. Hello, gentle corgis. I'm doing well, thank you. How are you doing? I am loving this game. This game is just, oh, I love it. And Germa fan, a thousand. Well, that's not a thousand, there's more than a thousand. <laughs> but how are you, Germa fan? And advice! Thank you for the hydrate. So, wood secretions are a pink, viscous liquid that can sometimes be form wood that has been mistreated. It is known to drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing a sticky pooling buildup. The secretions can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh if you keep animals and human children away from the secretion at all costs, as this foul odour would be interpreted as a sweet candy-like smell to them, making them particularly susceptible to I can't believe you've done gestures. this. For some guy is 1729. Thank you for the follow. I hope you enjoy yourself here. Once started, wood secretions will continue indefinitely. To remove the hazard from a home, the offending wood should be replaced. To prevent wood from entering the secretion stage, ensure good care is taken towards wood in the home, and refrain from scratching, knocking, or banging on wooden surfaces. Do not ever insult or shout at wood. Don't shout at wood. Aww. Oh, the poor wood is failing. This 
same as spooky, but not in a scary way, but in the ambient. Absolutely. This this nails just that, that unsettling uneasiness of, ooh, I'm not safe if I don't know my stuff, you know. I got chalky milk. Oh, shit, but I'm just... I'm doing okay. I woke up a while ago. Mm, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. My home is love for us. <laughs> Uh oh. Hi, Howard. I think there's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees, and I can never get a good look at them. But oh, it, it's a, it's a sprigget. They're out there. Sprigget. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something. <laughs> they told me to call you, hoping you'll be more helpful. Yeah, it's a sprigged. Um, it's a sp I don't even need to look at this. It's a sprigged. How do you know how? Did you see the reflection? They sound like this. Leave him some watery tonight on a clean dish. He'll be fine. Just be nice to him. Don't let him touch you or you'll turn into a tree. Spriggan! Whoa! Thanks. I bet if I say I'm going to make a cup of tea, watch this, it's always the way it works. Oh, it's awfully quiet. See, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. You just say it's quiet at work. Immediate work. Hi, Jay. My brother told me to call this number, but Nanda. I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. Autumn. The way they grow around the house. Like Autumn thing. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Yeah, uh, they're not good. Those those happy, happy vines, they're not so happy, happy. Please, Howard. You've got some autumn vines. Ba, 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 da, ba. Nice. Blissful zine effect. There we are. Gosh. Jay, we could tell your blonde is not natural. <laughs> could you imagine just dissing out that shade? Oh, I'd love that. Oi, oi. What's up, here? Hi, Jill. Okay. I, I, I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. Ooh. I, I don't know what's happened. Uh, please tell me how to get back to my family. Um. Please hold. What? I don't- I don't know. Uh... Maybe another memory wisp? Possibly? Saved missing memories in the human. Oh, maybe she stepped through a neighbor's doorway. As well as para. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking the neighbor's doorway.
What do you reckon? It's either that or a memory wisp. Now the main problem area is up here. All of this she, going well, on yeah, up she here is, quite is problematic. what's causing me the most so The doorway discomfort. is the one that causes pararealism and causes confusion if stepped through. They do not cause direct harm, but if stepped through, the resulting para para parallelism will often result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories. But that would explain her perceived, whereas the memory wisp gets rid of specific faces of loved ones. So yeah, I think doorway. It's like, I can't say the word parallel... Parale parallelogram. Para parallelogram. That, that one. Neighbor's doorway. Uh, there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, this town definitely just needs like some iron filings sprinkled on the top like bloody icing sugar. Hello. That's a quick one. Hey Claire. Hi. Yeah, Hi. I this awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room and when I looked to see what it was I saw this awful disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. <laughs> They're rude. It's quite big too which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house because who knows how big this thing is. I mean my dog can't even lay down something that big. Uh, I don't think that's your dog anymore. Please hold. It's either a fey feast. <coughs> or the, um, where is it? Or the puka. A foul smell signifies decay. They are known for their tendency to replace common household pets. Rotten eggs. I mean, the fey feet. There's, there, there is something somewhere that smells like eggs. Was it a hob thing? Was it? Have a look. Bro, trash. Aha! Trash gnomes report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur, tipped gadgets, and lounge crunching sounds at night. Trash gnomes are highly territorial, leading to inconvenient and painful circumstances. Uh, they're also capable of spreading diseases. Recommended not to let trash into the home to idle. Trash gnome, maybe? This sounds like a disgusting pile of trash, doesn't it? Big ground red for sea cut traps and barrow inside them. Home of the smell of rotten eggs. Disgusting stuff, the crap. Okay. I don't think it's the fame. The Fae Feast. Flour, oatmeal, and fungi. Hmm. Because that it is cornmeal or fungi. The fact she says dining room table. But why why the rotten egg then? Hmm. 
If it didn't smell of rotten eggs, I would be inclined to say Fay Feast. The false eggs is throwing me... The, the rotten eggs is throwing me off. Between Fay Feast? Dining table, quite big. I don't want her to eat it though, it sounds gross. <laughs> Trash gnome. Homeowners of trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped garbage cans, and loud crunching sounds at night. Awful smell of rotten eggs coming from my dining room. I saw this disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. I, I think it's trash gnome. I'm going to go trash gnome because it says a big pile of crap rather than food. If it said like food, I'd be more inclined to say the Fay Feast, but because she specifically says it's just a pile of crud. <sighs> I don't know, this one's tough. That one. I'm not confident about that one. I will happily take the L if, if that's not right. Let's go quiet. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hey, yeah, Paul here. Um, I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've oh been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place. Well, there's your first Lots problem. Bloody chemical warfare, possible. mate. And every night it's the same story. Bunch of edgy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Well, Please hold. maybe they use a hundred different types of pesticide. Uh, itchy. That's going to be the... <laughs> Where is it? The Dreamweaver. Maybe. I can't know. They can't sleep. Not that they are sleeping. They can't sleep. Scrub all the bed sheets. I. I mean, maybe it's just it's just bed bugs. It could just be bed bugs. I think it might just be bed bugs. <laughs> Uh, I have a of itchiness and delayed onset of rashes. Headbugs. Yeah, because it's resistant to pest pesticides. I, I think it's just bedbug, even though that is not a bedbug. But yeah, I'm just going to say bedbugs. It's been a while since we've had a quote-unquote normal one. Bedbugs are horrifying. Stink bugs, they're stinky, but that is not a... <laughs> yeah, bed bugs are horrible. Are there still bed bugs on the um <laughs> the tube at the moment? Does anyone know? <laughs> For a while apparently there's an outbreak. When do we find out we were right? We don't. Which is the annoying thing. We only find out the next day. If they call us back or not. Hey Charles. Okay, you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. I didn't do anything. I've not met you, Charles. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway, we're still freezing our butts off over here, so tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. Home's here to have issues. There's nothing changed after following the instructions. 
Children's teeth hurts. Please hold. Leprechaun? Could be. The child looks like he owns his home. <laughs> the silent paladin, hello. I only know that's a stink bug. Thanks to it. Literally the same. <laughs> exactly the same. It could be leprechaun. Or it could just have frozen pipes. <laughs> what else could it be? I think you the head pipes. Damages to heaters, furnaces. I mean, this specifically says heaters and furnaces. Homes having heater issues. <laughs> Tell him it's a dragon. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I think you guys are right. I think it is just a leprechaun. That's the only thing that seems to play with uh, specifically heaters. The leprechaun taking the braces. <laughs> possibly, possibly. But his, 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 the child sounded too young for braces. But <laughs> Surely he would notice his child's missing his bloody braces. You'd hope. Due to the political situation. <laughs> Hi, Edward. I think some pranksters may be giving my wife and I a run for our money. Who oh, you reckon? <sighs> Lately, my wife's clothes have started going missing, and at night Laundry. I keep hearing this strange, whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. <laughs> I, I tried to scare the kids off. Oh, troll, 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 troll. And putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but <sighs> I, th I think they're onto my tricks. Stop taking your wife's clothes off. Yeah. Troll. It's the whoopee cushion. It gave it away. The whoopee cushion gave it away. Absolutely a troll. No doubt about it. The whoopee cushion troll! Steal materials such as blankets or clothing and they were here. Uh, they will have missing clothes and claim to hear the shrill sounds of air escaping. If I can speak. It's a twelve. So theoretically, yes, you are being pranked because you're being trolled. So, you know. Here you go. Thank you. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Nice. Who's next? Come on, try me! Your posture is regrettable. Oh, thank you, the Concentrate chair. on sitting straight. Aha! The next challenger oh. appears. Well, hello. Hello! I hello. Oh, I like you. And I thought oh, I nice. Call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when Ooh, I heard lovely. this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. Oh dear. About the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, bees. I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be after all. That's okay, my lovely. You've got some tea sprites. Clean your teacups. Sorry, dear. There was a cat coming. Chippy, chippy, chappa, chappa. Please hold. I think she's got the tea spray. Mm. Tea sprites. This one. But we've got no thing. But they make clattering noises and they sound like they're buzzing. They sit there in the um, cups. Mm. I think. Mm. Would you reckon? Like, why specifically mention the Earl Grey if it's not going to be a tea sprite? Tea sprite! 
because she's posher than you. That's not hard. I've said it before, I'm not posh. You muppet. It's <laughs> right. In your cups, love. Give me my internet first. The sprites died the day again! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't murder me. Hi, we need some medical help. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so. I love and, that uh, they're told to call us. Living. Very SCPS. Particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? It does sign the pandemic, doesn't it? I like it a lot. I'm better at using computers like than <laughs> like this rather than new ones. Please hold. I still can't open my stuff. Uh, I think it's the hag. The bed- the bed hag. Whatever she's called. What is she called? Yeah, bed hag. Bed hag. Thank you, tech. Just call me Christina hag. <laughs> what does posh mean? It just means, like, upper class. Like, upper, upper, upper class. Posh, like the queen, and you know, queen of the king, that kind of posh. I know. <laughs> Don't remind me. Who's there? Get out! Get out, it's the mushrooms! Get out, it's the mushrooms! Can you hear that? It's been non stop lately. I replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything. But I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. Get out! Get out, it's the mushrooms! It's the mushrooms! They're harmonizing! These ones, listen, 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 listen. Get out! The shrooms, they're uprising! At least it isn't wheel skeletons. <laughs> That's just the Church of England. <laughs> well, let's hope she made it out in time. Bloody Fungus sending his cult members out again. I told him not to do that. Hello. Well, it would have must have been a fave pile then. It must have been. I don't know why it smells foul though. But why have the emphasis on the rotten egg? Hmm, the fave feast. Exactly! That's what- that's what caught me off guard! Oh, I've killed more than one purpose, Tantulus. We've killed about four? <laughs> <laughs> eh, oh well. Eh, it happens. I mean, she can just eat it. Just eat it. I'm not gonna kill you, is it? I mean, it might do, but you don't know till you try. Um, hello? Can you help me? There's I don't know, can I? Smell Not with that house, attitude. And I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's oh, no! He's really been acting no! up lately. I can hardly blame him. 
It smells <laughs> terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Please hold. I'm sorry. <laughs> Puppy. I'm gonna pause it because there's an ad break. Oh. Oh, that's so horrible, though, to even think of. <laughs> horrible. No bueno. Bloody pookas. How dare they? I'm annoyed by that Fae Feast one. That and the, the, um, the Fracture Crack one. They, those two have annoyed me openly. The other ones I'll take the L on. But... The Fey Feast and the the Fracture ones. They, they're, they're, yeah. There's misdirection and then there's just straight up, try, you know, rule shittery. Oh god, 1v1. <laughs> oh, that's such a scary thought, though. What are you doing? I don't like when people just say, don't, what, why? My, what do you mean my litter box needs attention? That makes no sense. What are you on about, you mad lad? What are you on about? Weirdo. Oh, gee whiz, thanks. <laughs> I mean, again, you're not wrong. I am quite... I am a piece of garbage. But that's not the point! Oh, the, the damn... It. Wow. Wow! Loving this. I'm just being bullied now. <sighs> Maybe continue? Or am I just going to sit here and rot in jail? Hmm? Oh, great, and now I'm in the jar. A gee whiz. What? Oh, no. Okay, well, he turned into a mouse. Or at least something of the sorts. Oh, okay. Oh! 92.30769. <laughs> Thank you for the emotional support, Lamb Shepherd. I appreciate it. Hmm. Even though you're the one who did the bullying. Oh, one more day to go. One more day. Ah, the holes! They found the holes! Ooh, we've got an internet. Ooh, let's check the mail first. Congratulations! Employee number 36, we are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labours and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impeding dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the great work. And thanks for working through the weekend. Sincerely, corporate. Right, okay. Congratulations, employee! Your high accuracy rate has awarded you today's daily coupon. It is for a glamour stone. Or if you're simply too tired to concentrate, or you want to look your best without the stress, glamour stones are here to put you at ease. With a patented protective seal, all glamour stones have a 99.9% .9 reliability rating. To receive your discount, simply type the following code. Well, I'm glad. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, that's what the boss was wearing around her neck. That 
that's that's what the boss was wearing. So is she okay? We know for a fact she isn't human. We know that. So she is obviously wearing that to transmute herself into a human form. Shepard, not now, darling. <laughs> Oh. Okay. I think it's definitely something to do with the mice. Someone, because in, in the entry they wrote how much they hate the mice. I don't think you play as a human either. Maybe not. <gasps> Maybe we are the smart mice. Big brain. Oh. Oh, we just have access to all of them now. Oh, that's cool. Was there anything here that wasn't on there? No. Okay. Well, in we go, I suppose. You kill roughly one out of ten people you interact with and they're thrilled. <laughs> it sounds all right. <laughs> well, that's not right. Thy trial hath begun. Excuse me? But no to be chattering. Excuse me? I don't... We are many. We are above. We are followers of our queen. What are we? Please hold. Bees? Um, I- Bees? We are many, we are above. So above the ground, above the soil, we are followers of our queen. What are we? I'm gonna say bees. Bees? We haven't got mole men! Well, I mean, we have moles, but we don't have mole men. Are you an insane? I don't know! <sighs> hey. Is that good? Was, was that right? Hi? I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? I'm not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? The Prime Minister! <laughs> I'm not living yet I clatter. No clatter. They feel... The only thing I can think of is animation. Oh, hello, Wieners! Hello! Welcome! Admiral, what is happening? Welcome in, welcome in, one and all. I am the Morbid Mob, a sassy British mob VTuber who sucks at games in life. How are you doing? What are you up to, Rainbow 
how are you, my lovely? And Laura, thank you so much. How are we doing? Woman's a bad woman. <laughs> hello, hello. We are playing home. Was it the home safely house thing? <laughs> much of the raid both of you thank you home safety hotline that's it now we are right at the end so if anyone does want to dip out because they want this. to watch it and late you know they want to watch the game or play the game themselves i completely understand because we're right at the end it is a fantastic analog horror game i highly recommend it <gasps> yeah, yeah thank you so much for the follow thank you I had a 24 hour stream. Oh, Rainbow! But I'm going to bed, of course. But I absolutely adore you. Oh, stop it. You mean, no. <laughs> not I, not I. But thank you for the kind words. No need for flattery, though. I know it doesn't exist. <laughs> please, please, absolutely go rest. Well done on 24 hours. It is not easy. I've been there. I've done it. It knocks it out of you, sure. So please go and get some rest. Remember to hydrate, eat, to look after yourself and have a good recovery for the next couple of days. And Amura, thank you so much as well. But yeah, like I said, we are right at the end of the game, so if any of you don't want to see any spoilers on how this game finishes, please dip out. I will not be offended because this is a fantastic game and I've enjoyed it thoroughly. Thank you, Rainbow. Rest well and well done. Cronus, hello, what is it? Rainbow said about a fellow Brit, but I had to come say hi. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I brought my most valuable units to you. Well, thank you, Mora. You know they are in good hands. Hopefully, I can give you your shout out now. Cronus, no, I'm not. There we are. Thank you so much for the raid. But yes, welcome in raiders. Mora, what were you up to? How did your stream go? Hey, this, I know, the shout out is pretty lit. <laughs> so long story short, for those who may continue watching but haven't heard of the game, we essentially have take people's phone calls and they tell us their problem, whatever it may be, and we tell them how to respond to it. However, the calls have been more supernatural and fey, if anything. And now I'm being tested on my knowledge, which I hate. <laughs> so, you know. I was dying from RNG and fighting your scuff of noise pollution in HQ. <laughs> what? Well, I hope you're okay regardless. Um, I clatter. I'm small, I am weak, I serve my purpose. The only one I can think of is animation. Because they stop moving after they're done. It says just let them do their thing and then they'll go away. But I hope that's right. Scuff is being part of a VG, but oh, tell me about it. Forge ahead? Okay, I, I don't know if this is good or not. Should I be failing on purpose? Moshi Moosh? <sighs> of course, Shepard. Of course, no worries, thank you. I'm the beggar. I'm the enrocher of the dry. I'm the friend to the water of the sky. What am I? I am the beggar. I am the enrocher of the dry. I am the friend to the water of the sky. Please hold. I don't fucking know! I am the beggar. I am the enrocher of the dry. Oh! The window boy! The, the, the rain people! The rain people! The, the rain nymph! Rain nymph! What do you think? Yeah, the rain one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Old HTML UI. The old HTML UI is peak. This is peak right here. I'm the friend to the water of the sky. It's got to be rain nymph. It's got to be rain nymph. That rain nymph, rain nymph, rain nymph. Press on, my employee. Press on. Yeah, no backseating if possible, please. Hello, hello, hello. 
Oh, that face. <laughs> I'm the harboring of death. I'm the bringer of pestilence. I'm forever the nuisance. What am I? I am the harbinger of death. <laughs> no, Candy! I'm the bringer of pestilence. Please hold. Harbinger of death. It's me! <laughs> Reanimation? It could be a reanimation. That's the undead ones. And they bring a bunch of diseases with them. And they literally are dead things. And I'm forever a nuisance. It says you can't get rid of them. That's my thinking. Are you sure it's a raccoon? They're not harbingers of death, no. But they are dead. It could be mice. I don't think mice are a harboring of death, though. I'm forever the nuisance. It's the forever the nuisance bit as well. Hmm. Cockroaches. Not really the harboring of death, though. The one that looks like you. The one that looks- the one where it looks for you? Maybe. Is there a Texas? The, um, Dorsha, you mean. But he's not a- he doesn't do pestilence, though. He just hangs around you till he murders you. so many fruit flies in my house as well. You have to get like those sticky pads, like those sticky sticks you can stick in the plant. The only thing with the plagues are the ones I've mentioned really. I st uh, reanimation is still calling to me. Or you could just buy sticky sticks, they work as well. I'm gonna- I think it's either the reanimated or like mice or something. I am forever the nuisance. I'm- I'm gonna say reanimation because you- they said you can't get rid of it. And he literally is. It, it literally is death. It is- it is dead people walking. Oh, reanimated. Yes, they're a nuisance. They don't stop following you. <laughs> we'll find out, I suppose. I think we did okay. Is that a good thing? Rejoice. The household has it. Come on, give me my phone call. That lovely is not the harping over there. You take that back. There we are. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? The doorway. Surely? I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. Please hold. What other bugs were there? Uh, beetles, uh, bed bugs, bees, bats. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and they lose their way. Well, the only one I can think of that says about losing their way is the doorway. Yeah. Either, either that or a portal. Oh no, 
it's the closet! It's the closet! It's the closet! It's the labyrinth! It's, it's the labyrinth! The the, 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 the what dot labyrinth? The closet labyrinth, because it goes to rich people's houses. Closet labyrinth, 100%. Easy. Closet labyrinth. Expand thy mind. What is going on? Open your mind. We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. Or shall we? Please hold. The companions, well, it's going to be a spriggan, uh, you know, along that kind of, or travel though, maybe? We compel those to tread, to tread no longer. Seed, seedlings, seedlings. I think it's seedling. Because it says once they're seedlings, you shouldn't go near them again. We compel those to tread, to tread no longer. We are companions of the garden. So the seedlings, if you find them in your garden, you should just leave them be and not disturb your garden anymore, basically. It's either that or some kind of spriggan, like the sprig tree of the vines. Vic, I am not being dumb. You figure this out then. I'm going to say seedling. Let go thy s stilted soul. <laughs> what is happening? Hi! I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What ha- I don't bloody know! I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. I have no clue! I am the dancer. A bringer of destruction, consume the weak and reckless. Num num num. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. anything down here. What about house fire? The chat, I'm purposely not looking at you. I can see you moving, but I'm not looking because too many of you kept like spamming ideas in the last couple of ones. So I want to try and figure this out myself.
During your discretion, I consume the weak and the reckless. I'm the forsaken oil. Huh? <laughs> I'm in it, bro. For fuck's sake. Oh. I'm gonna go house fire. Because it's the bringer of destruction. It's it, fire does that. Fire is the bringer of destruction, and fire dances. <laughs> Descend. Is that a good thing? I'm looking at you again. Uh, perhaps it's other. Anyone's house catches fire. We're moving. <laughs> Lamps and folk dancing. They do indeed. Ring of destruction. I'll bring her. I'll try. Send. Hi. Hi, Herbert. Hi, Herbert. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Uh, this game is about twelve pounds on Steam currently. Oh, that guy's scary. I like it. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? That has got to be the the, the Duros guy, surely. Please hold. I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. He delivers. That's the the Dorsha. Got to be Dorsha. Dorsha. Descend. Descend. Did I not- was that not right? I thought that was right! Oh, found. That's like five Freddos. <sighs> She'd be so lucky. No, it's the boss. Hello. Hey, boss. Supervisor Carol here. Hi. I've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. Thank you. It does Please look a bit better, doesn't she? That you have qualified for a promotion. Yay! Please stand by while I prepare my promotion. Thank you. She is looking great. Look at her. She's got color on her. She looks fantastic. I know there's eyes. Promotion in progress. Oh dear, that's not. Okay, well we're upgrading our systems. Still probably better than Microsoft 10, let's be honest. Whoa! What is this? Ah, naked lady! Okay, she's not naked, thank god. What 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 in the Please be not afraid. Come close. What in the daydream is happening? Okay, I get it, you cosplay. <laughs> hey boss. This is why you don't vacation in the Netherlands. <gasps> it's a pretty hat! I put it on my head. Thank you. It's a bit itchy though. Does the itchiness stop? Okay, what's happening? What kind of promotion is happening?
jadi That's it What But what about the mice and stuff <laughs> I'm a part of the forest now Oh artwork Hi, I'm Nick, the creator. If you're reading this, it means you're invested enough for this game to be curious about its development. Peek into the game's art development process and the human messiness it entails. Well, that was... <laughs> that was something. I didn't work out what happened to Mike. We didn't work out a lot of things. There's still so many questions. So you like Dungeons and Dragons. You made a bestiary. Wow. Lunar Archives. Oh, it's, apparently this was a similar one. The Lunar Archives. Okay. And then he started... Oh, they're inspired like Del Toro-esque. That makes sense. Huh? Started... Oh, huh? this is cool. I, <laughs> I hated this. And obviously in the gnomes. <laughs> check them out! Check out the little guys! That's so cool! Oh! I mean this- I, this is fantastic! The little hands. Originally the game over ending, there was a game over ending? Carol firing the player and wiping their memory before sending them on their way. After the promotion ending was written, it was decided to come up with something a little more whimsical and better more suited to the world, inspired by Roald Dahl's The Witches. We came up with the idea that Carol should turn the player into a mouse instead, so that was why the guy was squeaking. <laughs> I moulded these plots of clay and fur. David then held these in front of the camera while I filmed the ending on my room living room floor. <laughs> That's so cool! The riddles. The promotion crown. <laughs> Hot glued together out of scrap store materials. <laughs> Love it! That's Carol putting on her makeup. I want to look like a proper swamp witch. <laughs> Atta girl! <laughs> like, play somebody's six form project game or something. Possibly, but that was a brilliant game. Game super. Uh, well, yeah, because I'm wrapping up now, more or less. Oh, are you? Yeah. You're going to bed. Well, no, I've, I've, I've been on for some. Five hours, it's like half past two in the afternoon. Too sadly. I'll okay. be back on tomorrow! Don't worry. It's the office Saturday. cat was the termite lady's cat. So they just pet napped it. Really? Oh, there seems to be so much more into this than there is on the surface. But that was that was fun. I loved these creatures. Things like the Bogart that came from the Hobbs. That was really cool. Like the false flowers even. The whole aesthetic and build up of this game. Oh yeah, they were both called Whiskers, of course. Oh yeah, meanwhile you have the Horde. <laughs> Hang on. So what happens if we die? Am I like... <sighs> Um, I, I might Google it because I don't want to delete my save in case there's like future game plus or something. Have a look. All endings and answers.
And there's secrets as well? Wait, what? Oh, there is loads of this. Oh, this is something you're gonna have to look up in your own time. This is, this is insane. Well, this has been absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna go, I'm definitely gonna look this up in my own time and I think you guys should too as well. Enjoy the tea, beautiful. Thank you so much for me, my absolutely bloody will. Oh, I love, I love Anna Lokora. It it's just so well done. It's so subtle and well done. It brings back my favorite thing about horror, which is just the general atmosphere and the links of everything together and your, your mind making things worse than it possibly is. You know? That's why I love horror, that whole whimsical, mysterious side that your brain pieces together itself. I can't itself. believe you've done this. The Silent Paladin, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you enjoyed your time here. Thank you so much, guys. Like I said, I am going to have to head out now. I've got a couple of chores that need doing today. On the bright side, after the promotion, you don't have to answer the phones anymore. That's true! I get to dance around the forest. Preferably naked. <laughs> I will do tech, absolutely. Yeah, please do. I'm, I'm absolutely interested in this. that. Breastfed until 20. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> what an interesting name. I've seen worse. No, oh, thank you guys. I hope you had as much fun as I did. That that was brilliant. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on that. Definitely going to keep an eye on the creators. That was consistently so much fun. I, I can't believe it's been five hours. The time went like that. Wow. And thank you guys for not judging my uh, stupid brain. Now, who can we go? It's online. Oh, Hadrona's online. She's playing some Lethal Company. Being good, Hadrona. Absolutely. Right, we are going to raid the lovely Hadrona. Who is playing some Lethal Company. In an absolutely lovely bean. Yeah, Hadi, I love Hadi. I love her. She's so cool as well. But thank you so, so much for being here. Have a wonderful day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is for you. I hope you have an absolutely delightful one. Thank you so much for the fun. Watch your game. Watch your game. Where's Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I ne we need to try and get the Discord rolling a bit more. I'm not sure, I never know what to type in it though. But please, please feel free to join the Discord. Thank you so much to everyone for your love and your support today. As usual, I am bloody humbled. This is way too nice to me. I don't deserve it. Love yourselves instead. Give yourself the appreciation! Do it! Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna go over to Hadrona. Please send us a love. She's playing Legal Company. I'll see you all when I next see you. Jim Python, hi! We're just about wrapping up, I'm afraid. Uh, raid message, raid message. Um, um... Moth Hotline? How can I help? Something like that? I don't know. <laughs> We've only got a couple of seconds. Quick, ten seconds! <laughs> just send the love regardless. Toodle pip, cheerio, and all of that jazz. Take care and goodbye for now. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not very prepared, am I? My kill, I usually kill something with a shovel.